not. Shorts are like a comfy thing. Exactly. Me. Aren't we not comfy? No, nah, but uh, no, no, no. I mean, like, like, uh, like uh, shorts are like a Brandon's house movie night type of vibe. You know. <laughs> I honestly, I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I don't what? like to be in public with shorts. Yeah. So you guys are pussy. Not like fun. Of I it, cannot precisely. believe how many things me and Brandon have in common. Dude, yeah. That's like ridiculous. I, I've never met yeah. a single other person. Are you that guys want to kiss right no, now, or you guys want to kiss later? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what do you mean though about short? You guys don't want to show off your chicken legs? Oh, dude, maybe maybe nah, it's the man. years of middle school people telling me I have my hair. My no, legs are too hairy. yeah, exactly. Are you guys that. care about your hairiness? Not anymore. That's good. Yeah. So then wear shorts. We'll it's turn like off. that, but like, yeah, no, I completely agree. You have hairy legs? Oh yeah, my, you see my arms? Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's just the Asian gene in me. Hairless. Hairless. Yeah. I mean, you can yeah. tiny. I have like baby <laughs> shit. I have the baby shit. All right, well. Let's just, I mean, we're already here. We're already talking. Welcome. If you haven't noticed, um, in the guest chair, we have our lovely technical director. Not behind the camera. Uh, our best friend, um, Brandon Lehman, a.k.a. Brandon Lehman Films, a.k.a. Brando Vision. Um, he, films, <laughs> oh, yeah. he films all our shit. Um, yeah, we did have a guest scheduled, but unfortunately, she had to uh, do some work, you know? Uh, she's got some dope shit in the works, so, um, we decided... I might now we have a cooler guest. Oh, whoa. <laughs> 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 you guys know that? You guys know that? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, well, uh, we just decided to do another episode, uh, just us, and then Brandon, oh, Brandon Ooh. tags along, and, and, uh... Um, you guys get to meet him. Yeah. You guys uh, never really met him. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I have my close-up camera. Yeah. yeah. How does it feel to be in front of camera? Kind of weird. But this is also like our, our second or third time. Yeah, we've done it. We've done bit. it before. We just never aired those. You episodes. never saw them. You never saw them. Those will be those are director's cuts. Director's cut, unreleased uh, bloopers. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're here, uh, feeling alive, feeling great. Uh, I went to the L.A. Bridge yesterday. The new bridge. The shit is dope. I really want to go. It like is literally a party up there. Like it lit, it, it were there hella people just taking Yeah, pictures? dude. Yes, like, it was insane. We pulled it's up. It's going to be like that for we, a couple weeks. We, we, yeah, we pulled yeah, up, yeah. and we were like, dude, is this, like, fucking... It's like an attraction. Like, someone can pay, like, $5 and, like, tell them, come on. <laughs> like, this, the bridge the troll? Br- <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> like, there's like, hella people. It felt like an attraction. You want to like, go on the new L.A. bridge? Yeah, no, seriously. $5. But the sad They're thing like is... like, finding that in their day. Yeah. It's like, dude, this bridge, though? Like, <laughs> That's what we were laughing about. I think the sad thing, though, is I think... I think that kind of proves, like, L.A. is, like, like missing, like, new shit. Like, new, clean. Like, it was clean. No graffiti. No, like, homeless people. <laughs> Give it like, a couple hours. That's, that's what we said. We said. Bro. So, we said, we said, how long do you, how long do you think that will take for that bridge to be just completely destroyed? Because right now, it's so clean. And, like, I think that's the sad thing is, like, um, L.A., like, people are going there because it's, like, the only thing right now that L.A., like downtown LA is yeah. like super clean and like New thing. no graffiti. Like there's people on bikes like doing wheelies and shit. We're just saying, how long does it take to get it to Trashed. be f- fucked up? Yeah, right. Probably not long. I mean, the other ones aren't like. No, actually, no, they're graffiti. There's like <laughs> the other. You know how it's like that bridge, and there's like two or three more that go. Yeah, I yeah. The name of like the main one. Yeah, I don't know yeah, the names of it either. I just know this one, Sixth Street. But it was banging. Like it's literally a party and. There was a crash the other day, so just be careful. Yeah, uh, did that make, like, news? I wonder what happened there. Yeah, dude, yeah. like, a challenger, like, like fucking, it. like, gasses it and, like, hits on the oncoming traffic. Just crumbles <laughs> the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like and the it was, first like, the week. second day. It <laughs> was, like, so the funny. second day, Fairly like, it was open. 48 hours have passed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Seriously. It's, like, a two-lane thing, isn't There's it? All the construction workers are watching just... No, but I, but what's crazy, not crazy, but it makes sense is when we were there, like, the whole time, like, a, a, there was, like, an actual LAPD, like, patrolling, like, going back and forth. Oh. Because there's just hella people, and then there's this guy, I have footage, there was this guy, like, on a, on a dirt bike or, like, some motorcycle, I don't know, it was, like, a funky motorcycle where he had, like, pegs and stuff, like a bicycle, but it was, like, a motored bike. Like okay. And he was just like doing wheelies in the center, like almost hitting cars and shit. Easy. <laughs> easy. Light work. Easy. Let me see that wheelie, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. I had my camera and we were shooting, and he was like, hey, let me do it. Let me do a burnout for you. And I was like, all right, sure. <laughs> I was like, let me get this shot real quick. And then he just started doing it. I was like, damn. Dude, it's if like I had the A7S3, I'd have been like, oh, yeah, okay. I want to be like, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 4K one twenty. No, uh, but he was one of those guys that like kind of douchey where he like does it for attention and is like really like he like stops traffic because he's doing this bullshit like literally almost hitting like pedestrians and shit. Uh looks good on camera, bro. Amazing. <laughs> 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 you, gotta, you gotta do it. No, you guys are great influences. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, enough uh, about this. That. Enough about this fucking bridge. Let's get let's get into it. Let's get movies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that's all we talk about. <laughs> movies. Nah, we, we talk about movies sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple times. It's like, it's like you said. All right, I'm excited for Nope. nope. Yeah. Predictions we're, on we're Nope. We're all seeing Nope this week. This weekend. Right? Yeah. Yes, tomorrow. Yeah. When are you guys seeing it? We're seeing it tomorrow. I'm watching Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, that's right. I'm watching it Sunday. You're watching it on Friday? Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, sick. Thursday, yeah. Okay, great. Where are you going? Uh, oof. Quina Hills, I think. Okay. Where are you I going? I think so. Where are we going? No. Are we? <laughs> oh, we're going to Orange. So are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was going to say, yeah. Are we? I'm going oh, back. amazing. Okay, <laughs> great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I might be watching it at Sinopolis. Or there's oh, okay. It's right by It's right by here. It's like 10 minutes from here. I might be going okay. there, or there's there's this theater by my friend's house yeah. uh, in San Clemente. Oh, okay. Yeah, shut what? the fuck up. <laughs> 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 oh, what my theater God. is it? Uh, it's like a new theater in San Clemente <laughs> called like Metro Metro Lux or something. It's like I think it's like San, San Clemente's version of like Sinopolis. Oh, okay, that's, that's cool. Are you gonna go IMAX? Yeah, for sure. Have, it's shot in IMAX. Yeah, they shot in full IMAX. Yeah, I was watching. I was watching interviews, and he said it was his most. It's his most like ambitious film, like technical wise, like camera work. Like he said, not even the story wise, just like technical, like camera work and like the set design and like they built like a whole town like out of yeah. like scratch it's at universal now apparently. i've been hearing really good that. things i saw a bunch of reviews today yeah i've yeah. been seeing i've been seeing i've been hey quiet on set <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. um I've, i watched the a lot of the like the interviews that actors did and stuff and they were like i watched the one they did for vanity fair the they were uh reading the 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 fan theories yeah. of uh, people like tweeting like what they think it is and they kept saying like no one's really it. no one's like close to like the theories that people are saying so I'm, I'm kind of nervous about it I'm not gonna lie I don't know like me too I know I I shouldn't know what to expect I've only seen that like first teaser I think I told you guys I yeah haven't watched I, that. I know we went we went uh, mind you we all went to go what was it we were watching oh uh, black phone yeah. We watched Black Phone, <laughs> oh my God. and it was one the of the movies ever made. <laughs> <laughs> we should we definitely talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> we were uh, we were watching that movie, and the the final trailer came on, and home, homie homie has his eyes covered. <laughs> for the trailer. I feel like damn, this guy's really scared of a Jordan Peele. Movie. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I don't want spoilers. I don't want it. Jordan. No, but it's smart though, because that yeah. final trailer, sh- I feel like, a shows a lot. Yeah. Everybody on Twitter was like, "Do not watch this trailer." Yeah. And I was like. Yeah, alien. You know, do you think it's gonna be about fully about aliens? I think it's gonna. I know be it's like a huge thing. Obviously, that's gonna be like the whole thing of it. But I don't. I don't like know. There's like one theory that sounds right, and I'm not gonna say it because I'm pretty sure it is. Wait, but say we'll, we'll it. No, you got to say it. It'll come out. This will come like out. If, it, if it's this will right, come out like after the fact. It's coming out Monday. We've all watched it by then. Spoiler sure. warning. Spoiler warning. Possibly. Or not. Not. Spoiler and it could warning. like not be true at all. Okay. What is it? Talking about like they keep like posting shots of like the horse. And stuff yeah. like that, and they're saying like okay. something to do with like um, the horses are like uh, are like people or something like that. Could you see that like one chick that has like the crazy teeth and face? You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. With the hat on. The one, yeah, it's like flying in her face. It's like the horses are becoming people or like something along those lines, oh. like some crazy shit. But I the, don't know. The aliens are making that happen. Yeah, apparently, or, oh. or something is making that happen. Okay, interesting. I, don't know. I heard a theory about you know that final crazy shot shit. where it shows like flags or the the shit like. Well, he hasn't seen all the trailers. Oh, uh-huh. I haven't seen all the trailers. Yeah. yeah w- besides that, I don't know if I like want to know theories if they're right. I don't know. I don't I'm going to say tomorrow. this. Fuck tomorrow. it. Tomorrow. It's not going to yeah. be right. There's this shot where it's like it looks like a big oh, yeah, circle yeah. in the and sky. The, the flags are, like the flags are go- It's the, 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 uh, the, the fucking poster. Um, but yes. people think it's an eye, and it thinks that these, like, you know those carousel, you know those, uh, <laughs> those old-timey, like, hey. machines where, like, it goes super fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, it makes a, a video, like, a film. Like, they're photos, and, like, when you spin it really fast, um, it makes yeah, a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know what they, they did, like, animation. Oh. Yeah, like, animation. I Lynch. just saw this at the Academy Museum. Yeah, it's, it's called uh, Not a carousel, but... Uh, I don't know what it's called, but we can... Oh, I'm sorry. I have to look it up. Okay. I'm, it's going to bother but me. But people think that this town is, like, a... Sin- if it's an it's almost that. 
That's close. Oh my gosh. So people think. Yeah, it's like on the tip of my oh, tongue. Oh, you guys right? Oh my fucking. Because the first shot of the trailer is one of those being used. Yeah. So people think that oh this town God. is part of it. And you know when people are like, f- when she's flying in the sky and shit, peop- and the things are, infl- like people think that it's like a, and the eye, the big circle is like an eye. People think it's like, like another world, like picking up the pieces of from that. I hope it's as crazy as that. I hope it's not that. I hope it's not that too, because then I don't know how. A zootrope. Uh, you weren't close. Oh, My bad. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> a zootrope. Yeah. That's what it's called. Yeah. Oh, I don't. It's when the the image you f- they are it's like a bunch of still images, right? Yeah. And then yeah. you spin it really fast, yeah. and then it's and like it a, and so moving. Have you guys been yeah. to like Sorcerer's Workshop at California? Oh yeah. yeah you, you make your own. That. You make your own. Yeah. yeah. Sorcerer's but people Workshop. People think. Yeah. Oh, is that Doctor Strange thing? No, no, no. If you go to Animation Academy. Oh yes, 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 yes. But people think it has to do with something with that. It's really interesting. I mean, uh, that's like pretty cool though. But I kind of want like it to be about aliens because they kept saying about it, and like I don't think. No, he Jordan Peele said aliens are aliens, in the movie. and he was saying like no film has like d- been this like <laughs> precise and accurate about aliens. So I'm like, oh, so he's gonna like. I hope it's a bunch of just actually, like little that green guys fucking trying to like <laughs> make it accurate. Yeah, if he that's wants to make really it, crazy. well, d- that's let's go into this. Do you guys believe in aliens? Oh yeah. Ooh, interesting point. Uh, 100%. I don't know. We kind of talked about this. Yeah. I don't know. That's 100%. like one thing like... 100%. If you were like, hey, here they are. We got our first sighting. I'd be like, okay. I'm like, cool. But if you're like, there's no fucking way. Like, scientifically, it's not possible. I'd be like, okay. I don't you know if like, I believe in it or not. Because I've been I'm watching like a lot of... Not a lot, but like the Joe Rogan and Bob Lazar shit. Yeah. Dude, some of his shit is kind of scary accurate. There's a lot of Pentagon sightings, which yeah. they released and nobody talked about, which is really weird. Dude, there has yeah. to be some type of other being out there. There's no, without a doubt, too many, too many evidence, too many videos. There's this video on TikTok I saw. I don't know if it's real. Like I said, like I said, this is all, a pit, this is all TikTok. conspiracy, <laughs> all TikTok. Um, but it was like in Arizona or some shit, and like they were like filming it, and there was like a yellow light. It was nighttime, and there was this like yellow light that was moving weirdly and like slowly, and then like another one just appeared. And then another one just appeared, and then they just disappeared. Wait, where was this? Where was this? A- Arizona. Okay. I think it was Arizona. I don't know, but it, it was it was pr- to me it was one of the pretty like cra- like it was unexplainable to me. Where Some of the sightings are like that, aren't they? Interesting. Yeah, no, it's for like sure. weird like sequences or something. For sure. Me and Mila almost got probed by aliens. Oh really? That's a yeah. really crazy story. Yeah. You're talking about yeah. on the hill. On the on the yeah that yeah. viewpoint. Wait, what? Should tell that story. Yeah, yeah we told you. Oh, the noise! Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, say, yeah, tell yeah. that story. It w- okay, very, very cl- foggy or cloud foggy. Wow. But extr- it, we're on, we're on a, we're on a very high hill. It's like a viewpoint, and it is extremely foggy outside. To where, if you look up, you can maybe see like three feet above us. Um, and we're just talking, and we're up there for a while, and me and Milad are talking for like an hour, maybe. And there is a, is it a beeping? Yeah, yeah, there's a. It's it sounds like Morse code beeping, like that kind of beeping, and it's going on for a while, but we don't notice it because we're in conversation, mm-hmm. and then just in the middle of our conversation, I I stop talking, and I'm like, that's been going on for a while, and we both realized it at the same time, and then so we stand up, and we try to find where the noise is coming from. And we just walk around the little, there's not that much space on top of this hill. So we're just walking around, like, looking like this. And then I just, like, look up. And I'm like, it's coming from right there. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, how crazy and then he happens. comes in here. And then we're like, like, literally, Milad was like, it feels like I can just jump up and grab whatever's right there. Mm. And then as we start talking about it, the beeping just starts moving in a, in a steady direction mm-hmm. just away from us. And the beeping just gets quieter and quieter and quieter, and then we can't, and then we can't hear it anymore. That's really fucking crazy. That's weird, dude. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. In theaters tomorrow. In the aliens, <laughs> theaters. Aliens or the birds were low on battery. Uh, honestly, I think bro, honestly, the birds make more. S- if it's like an old firmware bird, they're like pretty <laughs> no. shitty on the battery <laughs> and stuff like that. They there weren't like any power lines too. near us. They, they were yeah. low on battery. They shoot like 8K, so it's like <laughs> you gotta have a really good battery for that. You know? <laughs> That's fu- that is yeah. weird. <laughs> that what is really weird. What if it was just a it's drone like trying? To, I don't know. You can make noise. <laughs> yeah, it was close enough to where oh, we're here, like, like to cleared the fog yeah. too. If it, wow, that's really fucking yeah. crazy. 
That's weird. Like a high pitch one. Literally, I think like Morse code is the best way to to describe it. Like, do, 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 yeah, like that do, do, kind. Of, but like yeah, const, not like not gaps. Like the, it is Morse code, mm-hmm. but that sound just constant. Mm-hmm. It's just someone mean? in the bushes making the sound. <laughs> falling for it. They're falling for it. If somebody in the future is like trying to warn us of something, but they can only do it in Morse code, and via that, and you guys are the only ones to get that message, <sighs> it'll be fucked up. All right. Right. Hey, no, write this shit down. Hey, of us. Like, no, no, write this shit down. This is a movie. Oh, but we said it live. No one copy it. Uh, copyright it. It's already copyrighted. We've already, yeah. Editor, cut that. We've actually talked about this before. <laughs> we already have movie rights. Yeah, we yeah, already yeah. have movie rights. Start working on it a year ago. No, that shit is wild. I've never experienced like an alien extraterrestrial thing, but... I think that was maybe one of the only instances that was, like, like kind of inexplicable what happened. Like, unexplainable. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, unexplainable. I like, I don't know... I don't I, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I, so there's no way to, like, be like, oh, maybe it's a... Like, maybe yeah, it's maybe what? it's what? Exactly. Yeah, like, like debunk it? <laughs> like, you're trying to deb- like... Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, There's yeah. no way... We can de- arrowhead. I was like, if I heard something outside, I would first go outside and see if I could figure out what it was, and if I couldn't, I'm going home. <laughs> but I, can, but I, but I can't even try to figure out what well, this we one was. We even had that experience. We even had that experience. <laughs> so explain to me what that shit was. Let's give people a breakdown. Well, okay. that's like one that like we could possibly have options for. It. I don't know, man. That shit. That was one was kinda, weird too. That though, shit. But like, it was okay, weird, let's but let, it okay. Be, like, let's explain things. to the audience. Yeah, exactly. That it has to be one of a couple things. The thing in Arrowhead. Yeah. Oh. It, yeah, it ha- but it's, it has it's just weird. Yeah, it's yeah, just weird. Okay, wait. We need to explain. Okay, so. Last day in Arrowhead. If you watch the Arrowhead episode, go watch it because to me it's pretty fucking funny. Um, this guy doesn't remember it actually. So, Whoa. no, dude, I got. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that face. <laughs> Impeccable memory. <laughs> <laughs> so we. Went, it was the last day. It was the last day of Arrowhead. <laughs> it was the last day of Arrowhead, and we ended up watching Scream Two for some reason. Scream One. Oh, that was Scream the first One. one. Yeah. Scream better. One. Ended at about 3 a.m. 3 a.m. It was fucking pitch black. It was in a cabin in the woods. Um, some typical movie shit. Yeah. And then we j- we start playing Dead by Daylight. If you don't know what that is, it's uh, like a horror game. Another scary shit. Yeah, yeah, Scream and then a horror, horror game. game, which is so fucking 3 dumb. Thanks for that idea. That was all Brandon's idea. It was awesome. Good idea. <laughs> and we had the windows up and everything. Yeah. And then me, me and Brandon are sitting like this. In two chairs next to each other, two open windows right behind us. And behind them is the couch. Yeah. And and outside is like the pa- like the walkway, and then there's like like a foresty area. Foresty area where it has a bunch of leaves and stuff. Trees. So you have to like take the stairs to get up the to like the driveway, basically. That's yeah. That's yeah. a good thing to say. Yeah. yeah. So there's stairs to get to the house where there's no leaves. You don't hear like you hear just footsteps on stairs. Yeah. But this sound. Was sounded like some type of being that only had two legs, right. walking, rustling through, like the big steps, like like big <laughs> steps. And people, it's not no fucking bear. No, we, r- bear. we, we did, did see, see a bear. bear. We saw we like they could like you could say it was a raccoon. It was fucking squirrel. It was like a weird cadence, but. Yeah, really it, it sounded like a human being on two feet. Yeah, the it rhythm the rhythm of the steps was like two feet, and it, it w- there weren't no enough rhythm. there weren't enough noises for a bear because it'd be four. Yeah, yeah. So that's you why heard that like growl or something. No, yeah. I th- like no, it would it would have made some it would have been yeah, yeah. it would have been more like rustly too, like because it's a yeah. bear, it's huge, it has four legs, and it kept stopping. Yeah, every time, every time we would, t- every time we would uh, stop talking, because we kept like, what is that? What is that? What is yeah. that? And then we would hear it, and then we would stop, and then it would stop. Yeah, yeah. And it's not a walkway in the bush. Like, there's no fucking walkway. And then the light, the lights are uh, sense. Uh, what do you call that? Movement sensitive. Motion sensor. Motion sensor. They're <laughs> movement sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um. um Motion censored, so that shit came on, and we were trying to find it. There was fucking dude, nothing. When that light came on, I was like, "Dude, this fucking horror movie is crazy." I know, this dude. Me so and Brandon, sick. we heard the noise, and at the same time, we just <laughs> go. <laughs> I was like, "Nah, nah." <laughs> thank <laughs> God, thank God, I didn't go. Thank God, I went to the bathroom because I feel like if I didn't go in the bathroom, I would have been on that couch, right next to the oh, fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, dude, I, I, I can't believe the lights came on. That's what, and like, so we, we try to find it, see what the fuck it was, and there was nothing. It was like nothing. All good. 
I'm glad we didn't. We well, we didn't like go out. We just like locked all the windows. I think <laughs> yeah, that was like no, honestly, was like, that was like. I was like, should we close the windows? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to like get near the windows. <laughs> but I guess that I'm glad we're I mean, not those characters. Yeah. You know, it's like guys, we should go see what that. Was. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> oh. Don't follow the rules. Follow the rules. You're breaking the rules, man. But that shit is. I guess that shit is more explainable. Like. Yeah, because that's like an animal, a person. I that, really don't it. think it was an animal, though, because, the ca- like he said, the cadence of the walking and, like... But then it was just a person that maybe wanted to break in and heard all of us awake and then dipped. But, like, you can explain that. You yeah, can, honestly, it, it, it yeah. has to be yeah, it has one to of be a couple pr- things. Like, yeah, impossible. I get what yeah. you're saying. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. just really, like, what your your experience on the mountain. That's just like, what I don't, I can't even think of one it's option of what that could have been. It was been. foggy, too. So, automatically, yeah. yeah, it cannot be a drone. Because it would have like, <laughs> yeah. that's literally insane. Like you can't, you can't describe. Do you guys story. believe those people that 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 say that they've been abducted like by how, aliens? Yeah, like how uh, how far so. how far are you in it to believe it? No, I, I I think that there are aliens. I don't know about a person like what that is like uh, they got me to, and, and they what, gave me back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To what? <laughs> like, <laughs> they gave you back. like what's the what's the story? No, they picked you up and were like. No, not this one. <laughs> this one, this one's fucked up. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. To what extent is that shit believable for you? I don't, I don't know about people that say they've been abducted. Cause wh- how did you get back? Just fucking throw you off. But you, you remember everything? Like that's they didn't, yeah. huh? We don't know that. But then, that's how did they know that they got abducted? So, so okay, okay. So there's a gap in their memory, and their first thought is, "Oh, aliens got me." <laughs> that's that's what it was. What did I do last night? Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> what did Holy I do shit. last night? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Some of the, some of those stories though are fucking intense. But also, to be fair, I don't know if I've like listened through an entire person's. No, I've, I've seen. It. With, like, yeah. I've like, seen that that docu series on Netflix that like. That each story, like, uh, they do the stories, like, un- oh, fucking, I forgot what it was, but each episode is, like, a different, a different encounter for people, and, like, some of them are pretty fucking intense, and, like, kind of crazy, I was like, whoa, this is a little intense. What's it called? I forgot. Oh. Don't ask me. It's all good. Uh, look it up on Netflix. I'll put it right here. Netflix or Hulu? You said Hulu first. Oh, I did? <laughs> <laughs> I said Netflix. Did he not Just say Hulu <laughs> first? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, oh. I said Netflix. Where what? are you at? Oh playback, yeah. playback, you playback. <laughs> Are you? Did you get abducted? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do last night? <laughs> What'd you do last night? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, but the bo- I like for the Bob Lazar, like he like he doesn't claim about like the abduction, but it's like him working at it and like him like having. The Weren't we talking about it? Right, we were talking about it. Who was it that doesn't? Bl- you don't believe in Bob Lazar. Yeah, I don't believe that. Oh, I don't know like who this guy is, but you guys have like described him too much. You never seen anything about Bob Lazar. He's no, like one like of the you guys mo- telling me about it was like the first time I like. Kinda He's like, like one of the that. most famous people to ever come out about like Area Fifty One. He even like says on like interviews, it's technically not Area Fifty One. It's like Area Fifty One BC Six Nine. This is the guy that used to work there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a tough one. Really? You that's think that's no? A tough I don't, one? I'm not saying I think I do think there are aliens, but I just mean like it's, uh, maybe not everything he says is is true. True. Because he used to work there. That's why, yeah. Because he used to, yeah. You ever seen The Signal? Signal. You heard of that movie? Uh-uh. It randomly has Lawrence Fishburne, um, Olivia Cook, and um, the main guy I think has been in stuff, too. Um, you should watch that if you want to get your mind blown. Is it Signal. about aliens? Yeah. It was a, a preface. In a, w- in a way. I, I'll just say nothing about it. You should you should go in blind. So you can be okay. like, what the fuck is happening? Okay. What yeah, year is this? Movie night. I, I literally watched it on TV one night. It was just on... And I was like, nice. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Um, <laughs> gosh, it's like, I think it's like 2015 or like that, around that. Yeah, it's not. Do you think long. in our in our time in our in our lifetime t- in our lifetime? Jeez, fucking fine words, Dylan. Dude, it's okay, I got you, man. Uh, that's why you're here. <laughs> um, in our time, oh my god, in our lifetime, <laughs> you think that the government like will will like a hundred percent have proof of aliens? Like, release to the public? Yeah. Or do you think just in our lifetime know. we'll see any evidence more, like, more than what we have now? Because the government's trying to hide. You like see, like, one alien to fuck up. 
like an abduction or something like that. I don't even think and it's just to that. Get one screenshot yeah. <laughs> or one Instagram live, and it's just like, oh. No, I don't shit. even think it's down. I don't even think it's that. I think it's, it's the government up. that's still gonna hide that shit in our life. There has to be like a Men in Black unit out there that's like ready for this shit. Whoa. For it. There has to be. There has to be. I don't. I feel like. I feel like if. If there was certainty amongst the entire population that there are aliens, I feel like there would be, like, mass panic, no? That's what I'm saying. I, I think... You know, honestly, no. I I'm guess not, maybe With the way depends. that we take news now, I doubt people... People will just be, like, sick. I think, no, I think people will be but sick, and then people will be, like... What if they're, what if they're like, like ready? And also that part. Yeah, that part. Yeah, I think people part, are just yeah. going to fucking load up and be ready for this shit. I think it'd be really funny if they were like the friendliest <laughs> species to like they're like they're we've the been one. looking for you like we've been trying <laughs> we wanted to talk to you guys like twenty decades ago yeah, but you guys kind of seem like assholes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're the <laughs> ones that like change the game of like the world about like they just launch our society like twenty years into yeah. the yeah like, oh my god that saw Morbius and they're like. We're not coming. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going. These guys are fucking oh tripping. Oh, my Orbeos. God. That would be crazy, dude. That would yeah. be crazy. Okay. We're talking about movies. Let's do, yeah, let's, let's do movies. We were, we were discussing about... Um, we all made a list. Let's start with that, yeah? Yeah, we all made a list. We all made a list. Two of us made a list. Two of, two two of, of us, us made a list. Because Brandon didn't read the text. It's okay. Brandon has letterbox, though. So you got He does have letterbox. Yes. I'll pull that. fucking do that, man. Yeah. How many times... Dude, I got my friend in L.A. Um, I got my friend in LA to get Letterbox, and I'm she's already on like doing this shit. Come on, I'm gonna dedicate like an hour and just add like as many movies as I can. It's the most fun ever, bro. Yeah, I have a bunch of old tickets. Sometimes I all the old ones, and it's just like sometimes I catch myself on Letterbox for like three hours. Actually, actually, one time that's when I was like adding 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 movies, like uh, just adding movies I've seen, like because like I'm the right now like. My lifetime, since I was born, as of now, I have listed, I have seen 340 movies, but I know I've seen way more than 340 Yeah, yeah that's my thing. We've seen so many. I just feel like I'm not going to be able to get all of them. I, but I don't know. How, I feel like some, I feel like, I mean, some of my friends, I tell them I've seen like 343, like whatever I said. And they're like, yo, that's fucking insane. It, blah, is, a, blah, blah. it is a lot but for non-film people. Because in the, okay, o- in, yeah, that's in the office... There's a scene where Dwight is like flexing how many movies he's seen, mm-hmm. and he's like, "I've seen over 240 films." That's all. That, uh, I saw that episode, and I was like, "I feel like I've seen, I feel like I've seen 200." Yeah, but then, <laughs> really but then, yeah, I guess it would be like a lot for somebody that doesn't watch movies. Yeah, you get, like, yeah. But then, like like but then we do have film friends, and I see their list, and they've seen like a thousand movies. I don't, don't know. you have a thousand? I think okay. You have a thousand? I'm pretty sure I do because what? I what, dude? I, I think follow we've seen close to that. I so really do. I have 626 movies logged, but I made a mistake when I first got Letterbox, where I was just rating the movies and not logging them. So for oh, likes, you gotta log those bitches. I have I have 330 right now. Wow, I have 1,199 likes. I have. Two, That's likes though. Sometimes movies. I'll log. Sometimes I'll log a movie even if I don't like it. It's, well, like if I knew this method before, I would have logged every movie. I think yeah. there's a bunch of movies I didn't log, so I'm kind of going off the likes. I have two movies logged. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get those. Numbers. Knives Out and Joker. Knives Out and Joker. What a combo. Yeah. See, like I have I, in my. Th- <laughs> you're looking at films, right? Up. When you go on the app and it yeah. says films, right? Yeah. Yeah, because so there's a lot of films that I've I've logged. I just and I didn't like it because I just didn't like the movie. Oh no, I'm saying uh, like my likes is way more than my films that I've logged. Oh, uh-huh. so that's what I'm saying. I think there's yeah, a lot uh-huh. more I didn't log. Yeah, so yeah. you fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, basically. all right, Dylan. We still have a lot of movies logged. Though. But yeah, three hundred and thirty. Like yeah, some of our film friends have like over a thousand movies. But then when I tell like some some friends I've seen three like as of now it's three hundred and thirty. It's like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. But all right, it is what it is. Top ten movie list. We will start with. Let's all go one we'll by one Dylan. for one, two, three, four. I Wait, what? My old one. Like we'll go from one. Are these? Are these? That's what I'm saying. Are these? Your your like? Are these rated? These are okay. Not mine are not ranked. Mine are not ranked. Mine are not ranked. It's easier to go favorites. No, no, like that. favorites of all time. Yeah, your favorite movies okay, of all time. Okay, I thought you were talking about like top ten movies of like all time. Oh, no, 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 no. Your yeah. top ten movies. I like that more. Yeah. Your top ten movies. Yeah. And they're not ranked. Mine are not ranked. Yeah, mine are just top ten. No yeah. no order. Yeah. I, I can't. So what's your I first one? We'll go one by one. First one. I wrote mine down. First one is 
Um, Fuck. The Green Knight for me. Really? Number one? No, not not ranked. Not ranked. Not ranked. They're, just, they're, just, they're just, yeah. yeah. Yours yeah, can yeah. be ranked. You have a ranked no, one? No, it's okay. I prefer not to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't want to be, you don't want to be judged? No, because I'm going to be like, oh, number four is this, but like, so is this one, but then like, so yeah, 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 I can't, I just like can't rank, I can't rank. It's really hard. Yeah, yeah. I looked at, I looked at my all-time favorite movie. I have like over, tw- I have like 25 all-time and I can, it was hard. Let's hear it. So we got Green Knight? Okay. Green Knight. Yours was Green Knight. Are we doing all of them at once? No, 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 no. Okay. I'll do my first one. Okay. Um. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay. That's also on my old list. I think it would still be up there, though. That's still, like, one of my favorites. So, your so first one, Green Knight. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Rendo. Um, I'm going to say... Um, I still haven't seen Green Knight, by the way. Let's watch that tonight. Have Green you seen Knight? it? I haven't seen it either. Whoa. Yeah, I don't even really like it. You so saw you've it. You've seen it. Fucked up. Do you have it? No. I have it. How are we going to take it to his Digital? house? Uh, PlayStation. Oh, you which I also it. have with me. <laughs> I don't know why I brought it here. Oh, excellent, excellent. Well, no, you why. know why. That's you why I brought why. it. <laughs> you know why. Um, I'm going to put um, So Damn Good. I'm going to put Baby Driver up there. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. I was just talking to my friend about it. That's her favorite movie. Excellent choice. Yeah. It's such a good fucking movie. It's a good movie. Like yeah, it is a movie. solid movie. Yeah, 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 I yeah. think it, it is kind of underrated, too. People over. It's either yeah. overhyped or underhyped. Yeah, but it's like, oh, there's so many things with that movie. But, like... Out of like Edgar Wright's like film art discography, dude, that movie is just insane. The I was timing, like yeah, everything. Like when you're walking past lyrics of the song that you're yeah, hearing. Yeah, that was dope. Like, oh, I was kind of disappointed though last night in Soho. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I, I won't lie. That was like, it, it was still good. The sprinkle cin- of him. The s- yeah, the sprinkle of yeah. him. The cinematography was great. The, yeah. the, like the set design was good. Story it wasn't like wise, a horror like I expected. I don't. Mm-hmm. Know, I don't know if I like expected too much and stuff. But I completely agree. I wasn't like satisfied at the end. It didn't feel like I watched an Edgar Wright movie. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I still I thought it was cool. I thought like, it was would cool I watch too, it again yeah. or like? Uh, nah, probably nah, not. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. All right. Baby driver, man. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right, baby. Number two. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Ooh. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah. I I wonder how many A twenty four movies are on here. Now that I think about it, actually, <laughs> it's all A twenty. <laughs> Every movie is an A twenty four. Fucker has all A twenty. No, no, no. Okay. No. okay. I got one one more A twenty four movie. Oh yeah. wow, really? Only one more out of ten. I Loki tried not to do all A twenty four. Oh, you knew yeah. we were gonna call but you out. <laughs> on you knew. No, I was. I, I there was one. There was one. No, nah, we'll go, you'll go. I wanted to put Enemy on there with Jake Gyllenhaal. That's good. Why Ooh. didn't you? I haven't seen it in a long time. That movie is terrifying. Yeah. But for yeah, but for a hit, you don't like spiders. And oh, yeah. That yeah. literally, I was like, the what end? the fuck? The last scene? I was so, like, salty about that. <laughs> Have you seen it? Yeah, of course. Okay. Dude, and the noise it makes, I was like, oh, my gosh, stop. It, the no. l- spoilers, no. if you haven't seen spoilers. it, but it came out a long time ago. The last scene of the movie is Jake Gyllenhaal walking into a bedroom, and there is a spider, like, the size of the building <laughs> in the room. In the room, yeah. Not and it's just, room. like... Croaking. I don't even know what. It's just sitting. Like, it's like. <laughs> this like hurts me to like think about. <laughs> I, I, I can't I'm even like, mimic it. Yeah, can we, I'm can we put a still of it? Yeah, yeah. Right here. I'll, put, I'll, put, uh, you're I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, you're I'll editing. It. Yeah, you, you put that in. I don't want. To <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. Okay. So everything. Everything. Ever okay. like that's on my list too. I, I we should I'll talk about each list individually. That's you, why I thought. That? That's why I thought we should go. We should, all of us should read our list and talk about. So we can talk about each list. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Top ten. Um, Murad, are they all recorded still? Yeah. What time is it? Excellent. Okay. But the cameras, you press record. This guy's got it. It's beautiful. Guy's got it. Okay. So Green Knight, Everything Ever, All at Once, uh, Prisoners. Uh, Wait, slow the fuck down. That's why. See, I'm slow. I, I already said the first two though. That's why I went fast. Yeah. Okay. Green Knight. Okay. <laughs> Everything Ever, really All at attention. Once. Okay. okay. Prisoners. <sighs> beautiful. That's on my list too. Okay. A uh, Nightcrawler. My man Jake. Incredible. You don't like that one? No, I do. Okay. <laughs> it's just not top ten. It's not even on my all time. Um, Uncut Gems. Mm. Wow. Okay. Uh, the Hateful Eight. Mm. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Excellent. Okay. Howl's Moving Castle. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that one. I can't watch that. I'm kind of ashamed for not watching that. I know. I know. Kind of hurts. Prestige. Where I yeah. honestly haven't seen that. Underrated normal. Really? I've never seen Prestige. Wow. Okay. Yeah. For an experience. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. heard Dude. I've heard amazing things about so it. So many movies for movie night now. We got <laughs> we got yeah. Yeah. We should have a movie night like 
list. On yeah. That's what we <laughs> oh, we should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then people can follow it too, and people see. What like if it's like collaborative? We should check in with them. Mm. Cool. Last one is Clockwork Orange. I also haven't seen that. That's a good one. What? Yeah, that's no. a great one. That's like, oh, am I like, I'm ashamed to say I've not seen this. <laughs> that's a great one, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, yeah. yeah. It's, it's Kubrick. Right? Stanley yeah, Kubrick. Stanley right, Kubrick. Good guy Kubrick. I think yeah. that was one of the first Kubrick films I've watched. That is my list. Wow. You watched it for um, class, right? No, I watched it before. I watched it before class. Okay, never mind. I think they played it in like the earlier years. That's a good list. Damn, yeah. that is a good list. Well, uh, I was making it, and I was like, this probably isn't very accurate. Like, it's probably not super accurate. But it's like cool because like. It kind of like encaptures like your taste a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 I yeah, see yeah, your taste. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What Uncut yeah. Gems is like a movie for me that I was like, dude, I was so stressed while watching it. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. But I don't ever want to watch it again. Yeah. <laughs> of, like the stress that it put me through. But like, I appreciate it. Yeah. But if you can like put that on a favorites list, that means like it, it's you like those type of yeah, movies. Yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's how we judge people. You know how people judge people on like, you see the thing, the trend about like, oh, like you can tell by a person's personality if they like, where Converse or yeah, like yeah, use yeah, Spotify yeah. or Apple. Ours is like, what's oh, your yeah. top 10 movie list? And then we'll funny. see if we like you or not. When she says Kissing Booth is in top five, and you're like, <laughs> woo, Kissing Booth, top five. That's fun. <laughs> that's, when I never t- that's when I never talk to you again. No, but like, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, all right. All right so, mine, not ranked as well. Yeah. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, we got Step Brothers in there. Watch that shit all day. Uh, we got Tenet. Oh, great choice. Uh, right. we got Forrest Gump. Halt, pot. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Already had this discussion. <laughs> if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, Joker. Okay. Uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Prisoners. The Departed. Oh, okay. Uh, Inglorious Bastards. And No Country for Old Men. I haven't seen No Country. Did you also was was that the only Quentin movie you had? Uh, Inglorious Bastards. It was the only one. Yeah, okay. for top ten. Yeah. There's like I have my top like twenty, yeah, twenty five, yeah. but I broke it down in that. Fair if you had to like choose one Tarantino, I think that's it. But you Inglori- oh yeah, if I chose one Tarantino, it's Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, you think Hateful Eight is one of his best, right? I or is it my one favorite? Favorites? One of my okay, favorite. Okay. I think it, it's tied between, kind of it's tied between Hateful Eight and. Um, Was it Inglorious Bastards that I said last time? I think so. Yeah. Or Pulp you didn't Fiction. Say Pulp Fi- yeah. Wait, did you? Um, oh, I think it, I think it was Hateful Eight, Inglorious Bastards, Reservoir Dogs. Did uh, you say Django? Oh, Django. That's what it was. That's what it was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you really yeah. like Django yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm kind of on the same on that. Yeah. I love Inglorious. Honestly, though, fuck, Django's so good. And yeah. Glorious is just like a master. Yeah, Django and Hateful Eight are tied for first for me, and then Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. I wasn't. I'm not like a huge, huge fan. I, I think Django is amazing, but personally, I I'm, I'm wasn't a huge, huge fan of Django, like how everybody is, like you guys are saying. Really? Like, I'd rank that, like, top three or four for him. Dude, spoiler, though, but, like, that last shot, when you see that house explode, and, like, when he drops. Oh, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> so but, like, Tarantino, I think it's, like, Inglorious Bastards, Pulp Fiction, um, um, Reservoir. And then um, either, for me, it's either uh, Once Upon a Time or Django. Okay. Like, I think those are the same. Like, I know a lot of people didn't like or didn't really talk about Once Upon a Time, Dude, but I think it's fucking... We should talk about that for a second, because that movie is, like, fire. It's yeah, really good. It's And it's, cu- to me, it's it's a little different than his normal shit. Mm-hmm. Like, like uh, my mom hates gory shit. Yeah. And, like, throughout the whole movie, my mom's like... Wow, I like yeah. this is <laughs> great. Like, there's nothing happening crazy, and then the last scene happens, and my mom is like tripping. Oh, there balls. it is. Like, yeah. The one like warning is when uh, spoilers again. Uh, Tex is beating or getting his shit rocked. No, no, not Tex. Sorry, the Tex. When Tex shows up after, but that guy that gets the shit beat out of him for, for the, the entire thing with Brad Pitt. Was that not Tex? Oh, no, Tex. No, Tex came after. Yeah, Tex yeah, came yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah dude, yeah. that shit is like, it's just that slow-mo of his blood coming from his mouth. I'm like, shit oh, looks realistic as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I think I think that's one of his underrated movies, like, honestly. Yeah. Like, well scripted still. Yeah. Um, like cigarette did the most. <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah. that. He said he and was like the devil. He was here to do some devil shit. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite you line of the you movie. You are real, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that scene, dude. 
Brad Pitt. That's one of like my favorite roles for Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah, been so much top, shit. Yeah, he's great in yeah. That. He just whistles to the dog. He's like the Bruce Lee fight. Booth. Booth. Oh my! Oh my. So Did you good. see that the fa- Bruce Lee's family tried to sue for yeah, that? Yeah, they got mad about it. Yeah, yeah dude. So hella pissed Tarantino's about it. Tarantino's talked about this on a podcast. Uh, oh, is he coming on our podcast? You know, with Joe Ro- we can ask him when he comes on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was with I think it might have been with Joe Rogan and stuff, but he talked about it and he was like. He wasn't, like, trying to, like, um, if I remember this right, because it was a while ago. But he wasn't, like, talking shit on Bruce Lee. But his opinion of Bruce Lee is that Bruce Lee was an actor as opposed to a fighter. Yeah. And that's always been his thing. And that's what, like, he's kind of showing in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. He's got, like, balls and stuff like that. But trying to show, like, Bruce Lee thinks he's, like, a fighter and stuff. But he's yeah. more for, like, performance. But, like, he wasn't, like, trying to roast him. But they got, like, really mad they about it. They got mad that. about it, yeah. Yeah. It what, really do crazy. we know the verdict on that? What's going on with that still? Is there still, like, anything going on? I didn't on? know that it's they were suing. I just heard that they were, like, publicly, like, no, this. No, I thought they were trying to sue. Uh, I don't what, know. But there's that, like, scene with him and Sharon Tate, and they're, like, like practicing and stuff, and they high-five. I'm like, come on. Like, it, he was obviously, he's not talking shit. Yeah. 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 Like, pre- Dude, this guy loves Hollywood. Like, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know if he was. I think, I think they were getting offended at the fact that he was, like, so he is an actor not and not a fighter. The idea of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Because The idea of that, and I think they, they like try to show, like, he was, like, I think they, I think. This could have been, thi- uh, I think I read this somewhere too, but it, like they, ch- like they didn't like how it made him, made it show that he was like weak. Like oh, because he lost the fight. Because he lost the fight. And like he was like easily thrown. Like I think they were getting a little yeah. ticked off about that, like showing how he was like weak about that. That made me laugh so much though. Not for that aspect, but the fact that like Brad Pitt's. Brad like, Pitt just threw the like fucking Bruce shit Lee. out of Bruce yeah. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> but then the guy warns Bruce Lee that it's, it's him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy like killed his wife, man. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was great. I think that's a, a underrated Tarantino. Yeah, movie. no, literally, it's so good. And it's like a love letter to Hollywood. I think like it's a love letter to Hollywood, yeah. definitely, especially I for him growing up in th- in that area. Yeah, I wish we grew up at that time. I'm not gonna lie, but Me um, too. I think the fact that like that thing with. Cliff driving and stuff. I might have like mentioned this to you guys before, but like that part made me so happy where Cliff is just driving on the freeway and stuff. Because literally, I have, we have to make that commute all the time. Yeah. Where it's like a forty minute drive to get back home. Yeah. And like you're just listening to music. You got the skyline that passes you every single time you drive. Yeah. Home. And that like alone, like I love. If it's like sunset, I enjoy that drive so much. Fuck traffic. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna vibe in that like <laughs> that like climate. You know. Yeah. Facts. But he yeah, won. I right? love that you Brad Pitt won for that. Did he really? I think so. Supporting a sporting actor? Did he not? I don't know. I yeah, because someone fact checked. Yeah, 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 yeah no, because his speech. Yeah. Remember his speech? Wait, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Keep calling him. Remember his speech? I should his, know this. his speech was, uh, wait, Dylan, just stay for this, for this real quick, real quick. Uh, he was thanking people, and he was like, I'd like to thank my co stars, Leo, uh, Margaret Qualley's feet, Margot Robbie's feet. Because there's a bunch of shots what? of their f- there's yeah, a bunch of shots yeah. of their feet in the movie. Yeah, I know that. And then and then he goes, Quentin has separated more women from their shoes than the TSA. That's so and funny. then it cuts to Quentin, and he's like not happy, like he's frowning, like not laughing even a little <laughs> bit. Like <During> the Oscars? <laughs> I have the two. I don't, pictures. Remember, I don't remember what awards show it was, but he he won one of the awards for Cliff Booth in the movie, yeah. right. and that was his speech. Cliff oh, Booth, that's yeah, crazy. Once right. upon a time in Hollywood, 2020. Was it an Oscar? Yes, I believe so. Okay, yeah. Best supporting actor. God, that was so funny. Dude, that's hilarious. I forgot about that. Yeah. I thought it was funny because they clearly must have seen Quentin unhappy, yeah. but they still cut to him on TV and show. Oh I want to see that. Re- I have the two pictures. So funny. I send them as, like, reaction pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody says some dumb shit. I'll, like, send it's the Tarantino one. Is Brad Pitt doing Brad this? Pitt yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I send yeah. that to you? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Oh, that's funny. All right, well, Dylan ditched us. All right, let's talk shit on Dylan. <laughs> Um, what was another movie on that list that he just said? Uh, um, bring it up. Honestly, I'm surprised Ferris Bueller is on there. I like it. It's a good Dude, movie. I love... Okay, have yeah. you seen, like, the John Hughes movies? No. Okay, John... Do you know, like, much about him? Yeah. Or uh, vaguely. He was, like, the fucking guy for those types of movies yeah. in that era. Like, John Hughes was, like, a huge name. Like, and Breaking Fourth Wall style, or just... Not just, like, Breaking Fourth Wall, but yeah. he made, like... He had, like, such, like, genuine dialogue, or, like, something oh, about, like, oh, the yeah. way that he made characters made them, like... To where you, like, love them. So yeah. when you watch, for, like, Breakfast Club, it's hard yeah. to not love, like, all of those yeah. characters. Even, like, yeah. the dickhead, you're just like, I love this guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Like, um, but anyway, that was, like, the shit. But when it comes to, like, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, um, the cast will, like, talk about it, but they're like, we thought this movie was just going to be, like, something that got put out. Yeah. We did not think it was going to become, like, a classic the way it did. Really? But honestly, like, if you, like, look at it, it's great for, like, so many reasons. Yeah. And it talks about, like, youth without talking about youth. It does, like... 
And the mo- shots are just so iconic. Movies, movies that like, soundtrack. Movies like that are always so like clutch. Where you, like when even when you're on set, like you don't know it, but like when it like makes an impact like that. But I will say, given that, because that was one of my favorites of all time. That used to be on my number one uh, uh, before I saw Back to the Future. One of my <laughs> but like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 definitely yeah, up yeah. there. Um, but when it comes to movies that do that so well, Dazed and Confused, mm. I feel like. Let's hear your so list. Let's hear your list. Oh, I, yeah, think, oh, I think yeah. these movies are on that list. Okay. Okay. Did you finish yours? Yeah. You finish your list. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Back to the Future is probably part two. I don't two, know if it's still right? number one. Uh, no, the first one. Oh, the first one. It used oh, yeah. to be part two. Okay. Um, I love part two a lot. The yeah. First one is just like iconic. Yeah. Iconic, like, and also iconic. like the story is like near perfect. There's nothing like wrong with Back to the Future, like the first one. Yeah. In my opinion, you can like make arguments about two and three, but like the first one is just like insane. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, but. If it's not Back to the Future, um, I loved, especially like this year, Dazed and Confused. Okay, um, it's just and like I need to like watch it. I've only mind. watched it once. You should watch that tonight. <laughs> 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 Damn, we have a lot of movies to watch tonight. It's like, it looks like it was like made in the seventies. And if you look at the deleted scenes, they're like how like ready film reels, right? Yeah. But it's like made like later. I think it's like made towards like nineties. It's like Boogie Nights. Boogie yeah. Nights is about the seventies. Yeah. Looks like it's from the seventies. Yeah. Nineties. That's yeah. true. Insane. Um. Boogie, so Boogie Nights is good too. Yeah, and Days Confused says like so much, but it's like the unfiltered John Hughes movie almost, where mm-hmm. it's like you see like hella drinks, hella weed. Um, there's Wait, is Days Confused John Hughes? No, it's not. It's not. Oh, but it's like it's almost say, like that. What? It's the same vibe. It's uh Richard uh Link, Link later. This guy made um I don't oh, know say his last name. He made fucking Before Sunrise. B- no, ri- uh yeah, Before Sunrise. No, he made School of Rock. And School of Rock. Really? Yeah. yeah. He's also made Everybody Wants Some. Um, um, he's got like a lot of random movies under his belt that you wouldn't think yeah, of, yeah. like his. That, that whole trilogy of like Before Sunrise and yeah. those are like all him. This I'm sorry, this is really random. That but School of Rock, the one of the main uh, girls in that, like the kids. Yeah. I just saw a musical in L. A. Mm-hmm. and she was in it. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was. I like, haven't seen School of Rock. Me, so. me and Liam. Yeah, I know. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait. we it. need to hold uh, the fuck up. We can delete this. Sorry, guys, we, have, we actually have to wrap up. We so actually we can have fuck. to wrap the fuck up because... Wait, that's actually pretty crazy, man. Yeah, Whoa, yeah, 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 dude. Yeah. yeah, Jack Black, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, yeah. I used to watch that movie on repeat yeah, in yeah, middle so school. Wow. That's yeah, on my, t- on t- that's like, if I, if it was like top like 11, like that would probably be number 11. Yeah. Wow, I have a I have a confession. Uh, this also like maybe gives a little clarity. But when I was growing up, like I had like nothing. I'm not gonna like put my parents under the bus, <laughs> <laughs> like a little bit. But like, not, Are you I don't guys mean hearing to. This? I don't mean to. Yeah, mom and dad. I'm sorry. Um, but growing up, my parents didn't like. We like watched movies. We had like movie nights. Yeah. But they weren't like classics. They weren't anything. It was sometimes just like what was the new. What was out? Yeah. So like mm-hmm. sometimes it's just like a lot of them I don't remember. Yeah. Right. So it was never like. But more specifically. Um, I remember I wanted to watch um, Star Wars, but it was PG thirteen when I was younger. And my Are you mom the like trili- simply just the, not the prequels. I think the one I grabbed on VHS because we we'd always go to like the VHS store was Episode one or two. Okay, um, I'd never watched the other ones either. Yeah. So my mom was like, "Oh no, you can't watch Star Wars." Um, I didn't watch SpongeBob. I didn't watch any of those. You so didn't watch fucking SpongeBob. Yeah, I watched Star Wars when I was at OSHA for my first time. I think I, I said it in class. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the first one I watched with Ross. Fun fact. Really? He was there for my first ever viewing. Of Shout out, Roz. Shout out, Roz. Whoa. Um, yeah, it was really crazy. So um, it was that one, and then wow. I saw the prequels like when I was working at The Void, so almost two years later. What the fuck? So 2019, yeah, That's yeah. That's nuts. And like Clone Wars and stuff like that is like what made me like understand Star Wars. And when I saw the prequels, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. I watched Clone Wars, and I was like, I totally get it now. <laughs> Wow. Oh, so yeah. not gonna lie, you're kind of like not new to like movies, like I like did like a whole. Sp- that's why my letterbox is low key popping because all the movies that like I had to catch up on happen like later. Oh, stuff. Uh, so like, yeah, yeah that's okay. why I have a lot of first time watches still. Jaws, I saw at the Bev for the first time, um, 2017 or 18. <laughs> yeah, I saw, that that. One, I saw that one like 2014 or something. Yeah, Jaws, ET, what? I saw not that long ago. Um, oh, my a parents, lot of like, damn, my parents didn't give a. Fuck what I want to do. Do you guys remember your? I'll f- uh, finish your list. Sorry, I'll ask after. No, ask it. No, ask it. No, do you, g- do you guys yeah. remember your first uh, R-rated midnight movie? premiere movie? Ooh. Premier. Oh, like the day it came out. Like, like, like you go to the midnight showing, showing as it? soon as it comes out. I don't think we ever did anything like that because it was usually like the seven p.m. showing to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
I remember one really well that I still have the ticket for. But I just sent it to you, I think. Are you sure? The only reason I remember, or not the only reason I remember, but uh, a couple days ago was I saw on Instagram. It was the 14 year anniversary of The Dark Knight. Uh, and that was my fr- my brother took me. Legendary. And I was seven years old. Oh my yeah. gosh. Mm. I know it's, it said I 14 years ago. I was like, Jesus, what? Yeah, when I was younger, they did, my parents did let me watch kind of anything, but. Like, since they had work the next night and stuff and all that, like, I can only watch, like, during the daytime. Yeah. So I think maybe midnight was probably during high school. I just don't remember what movie. Yeah. It was a mission to, to get me to that movie, too, because oh it was yeah. PG-13. Mm. And so my dad, my, my mom was, my usually it's flipped. Usually my dad is, like, cool about stuff and my mom isn't and needs convincing. But my mom was cool with it. And my dad was like, I don't know, man, it's PG-13. And my brother was like, it's Batman. Like, it's literally, yeah. I'm taking him to a Batman movie. That's so funny. Do yeah. you guys remember your first, uh, your first uh, uh, movie that you saw that had uh, boobies in it? <laughs> I remember mine. Mine was fair. Mine was That's a really interesting question. I don't know. Fer- Did you say Ferris Bueller? <laughs> yeah. Ferris Bueller. Because Bueller. remember the scene on he's coloring on his computer. It's a naked girl. It's not even a real fucking girl. It's a computer girl. That's naked, and he's, like, coloring it. What does he like say? I asked for a car. They got me a computer. computer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's my first <laughs> time. After that, it was super bad. Oh, super bad. The magazine. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I like, like, baby I have no idea. I was, like, I was, like, That's 10, maybe. I don't remember. I was, like, 10 or, like, 9, 9 or 10. That's yeah. so nuts. No I don't know why that is so significant no in my life. I was like, no way! I was like, this is <laughs> sick! You guys see this? Yeah. And I watched That's it like funny. secretly. I was like, yo, this is crazy! <laughs> I was like, they can show this on movies? I can't even remember the first movie I saw that had nudity, period. Anyone. That's what I'm saying, like nudity. Yeah, uh, you would think that'd be like such a like thing as a kid. I don't know what that was for me. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a uh, weirdo. Uh, I guess I didn't really see R-rated movies till later. Really? I remember my first R-rated movie. What was your what first was R-rated? I remember, uh, I was 12, so it was 2012. And I went to, like, that Cinemark in Bellaterra with my parents. Yeah. And we do, like, movie n- nights every once in a while. Um, and they didn't know what to watch by the time we got there. So they got us tickets for, like, a police movie. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, you know. I don't know what we're going to watch. What movie we're is this? Go in police it. movie? 21 Jump Street. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! That's your first I had movie. no idea. And the whole time, my parents were like, we should leave. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Maybe that was like the experience. I, there Maybe. was like nudity in that one. No, I don't, right? so. I don't, I don't think, so. think so. Ah, something. Well, they they talk about like penis and they like no, the they, they, they his shoot his dick off. off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sorry, spoiler. So, uh, this nah, was so that was, spoiler, spoiler, so that was your first dick. Uh, possibly. I don't know. That was the first like. Holy shit. This <laughs> is <laughs> nuts. Like, I movie ever. Maybe, I don't know if it was the first one, but one one of the first is also when I was 12 for Wolf of Wall Street. I wanted that to be my first so bad. Really? I don't think yeah. that was my first time seeing nudity, but like, on, like one of. Cinema. That was like a lot of yeah. people's first R-rated movie. Yeah. Because yeah. there's, there's, there's a lot of nudity in that movie. There's like, like there's Jonah Hill's dick is in that yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. There's on okay. Yeah, yeah. When you talk about like a lot of nudity, yeah. Yeah. For sure. But first time? One of. One of the wow. first times. I was 12. You guys seen Fast Times at Ridgemont High? Of course. So I've seen some of it. Okay, good. Really? Yeah. That's, good. that's like the booby movie. The, <laughs> that's I, the <laughs> one that they always uh, what's, what time? What's the time code on it? Remember? Oh, fucking yeah. What's his name? Mickey likes boobies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you haven't seen Stranger Things, it's a little... She returned it at 32 minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a little Shut spoiler. up, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up back there, bro. Um, Are you finding the time code? No. See, he doesn't even know okay, what's nice going on. Oh. Oh. Wait, uh, Wait, so when... How are they good? I love that. So when when did you watch Super... Wait, wait. We got to finish Brandon's list. Wait, oh, I remember yeah. watching Superbad. I have the first log for it. When was that? Uh, That was... Because that was my first R-rated movie. Superbad? Yeah, yeah. It was, like I said, we're like 10, year, 10 or 11 years old. It was... um. Like, let's, let's just check. Is there nudity in that movie? It. No, the the magazine, remember? Oh, oh. That was my first, like... I f- I, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Superbad, Superbad. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I was still at OSHA. What? Um, I used to watch, because I was so behind in movies, I used to, like, watch movies at, like, 3 in the morning. So the Indi- the Indiana Jones trilogy, um, I don't know about a fourth. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, yeah. The trilogy, <laughs> um, I watched Good all of them back-to-back. Like, literally back-to-back. Oh, you told from, me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah 7 yeah. p.m. to, like, sunrise. Mm. 
Mm. I've seen Super Bad seven times. What was your first R rated movie though? When did you watch Super Bad? I, I always say Super Bad because. It was February 2017, by the way. When did Super Bad come out? Ooh, that was uh, 2007. 2007? Okay, yeah, I definitely watched it when I was like 10 years old. Yeah, I definitely watched it when I was like 10 years I remember my parents. I actually remember my parents watching it for the first time. And I tried to come downstairs, and they said no. Because I was bad? like, yeah, because it was 2007. Honestly, with that part with the dicks, I can see why that one did. Yeah, no, for <laughs> sure. You said 2007, right? Yeah. So I was seven. So for sure they weren't going to allow me to watch it. I don't know why when I was 10, I like watched it. That was my first R-rated movie. I don't know why I can't remember what it, my first R movie. Letterbox, man. Letterbox. Letterbox. Yeah. Go Letterbox. back in time. Go back ten, to 10, 12 years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you weren't logging back then? Yeah. <laughs> you weren't logging? Um, All right, movie, let's go. Oh, back fun. to the Future. Days and Confused. Days and Confused. There. Um, there was something else. This might change, like, often. Uh, let me go off my old list. Um, I had, used to have 500 Days of Summer. Um, I like that movie a lot. I feel like Dude. you always, like, quote that movie. You always bring that movie up. Ha, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Webb, the fucking guy. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, I'm going to keep Logan on there because of how fucking oh. masterful it is. I'm going to trade Logan out for something. Like, people are, like, talking, like, dude, like, the best, like, comic book movie. Uh, bro, 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 bro. If you're not talking Dark Knight, if you're not talking Logan in that convo, I don't know what to take out for Logan. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, Logan, Logan was my top movie of that year. That's so good. Yeah, I was probably saying. Of same. that year, it was my top movie. Yeah, it's, like, incredible. That director yeah. um, is, James like, Mangold. James yeah. fucking Mangold. Dude, that guy is crazy with it. If you watch the before and after VFX of Ford vs. Ferrari, you would not believe it. You would be mm-hmm. like, this is fake? Yeah. Ford versus David Ferrari Fincher does so the same good. shit. Yeah. And like, if you could do it that well. Oh Isn't God. it kind of Someone funny? here hasn't seen that. Huh? What? Ford vs. Ferrari. I've seen it. Ford vs. Ferrari? I've seen, oh, seen it. Oh, I, I thought one talking. of us said we didn't watch that's it. That's good. I also have it if we have that's to watch it. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's one of my dad's favorite, because you know how my dad's really into cars. That's like yeah. one of my dad's like favorite movies. I was going to so say, before good. you, I was, it's kind of funny. We were talking about it yesterday, and not about movies, but kind of about music, how I'm also really into music, and I like know like the titles and the artists and stuff, but even like talking now, it's so funny how we can name a movie and then name the director, name like the actors in it. Like some people like, when we have, like, conversations outside of our circle and, like, we talk about a movie and, like, oh, yeah, Edgar Wright. Oh, yeah, this director. People are like, what the fuck are you? When we were sitting with my sister and she had no idea what we were talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my God, yeah. 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 Oh, she literally was like, okay, you got to dumb it down for me. She was <laughs> like, <laughs> literally, yeah. <laughs> or it compl- I love that, though. That's, the, like, one thing I love about talking. Like, it's kind of, like, cool, like, our, our, like, history. Like, we're, like, movie, but, like. But, like, that minute you were, like, dude, I love Edgar Wright to see if, like, that person knows. And they're, like, love Edgar Wright, you're like, oh, uh, you're like, like, wow. ah, like fresh yeah. and breath air. Oh, he knows, he knows. It <laughs> took it took everything out of me to not put the Dragon Ball movie on my top ten it's list. A favorite, bro. Yeah, but it's your but favorite, here's but man. here's the reason why I didn't do it. Here's the reason why I didn't do it. I thought I thought about it because you you don't you don't want to be bitched at. No, no, I, uh, that's just something that I've agreed to deal with for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's how it no, goes, no, no. It's, it's how it goes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On every movie on this list, there there's. <laughs> st- there's some aspect about it that makes me want to be in this industry, right? Okay. I, I don't watch Dragon I, I don't love Dragon Ball because of, like, <laughs> cinema. You know? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I didn't put it on there. I get you. I yeah. get you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Reasonable, reasonable. Yeah. You can get away this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, scream. You like I thought about it, Loki. Huge fucking scream guy. Really? I you thought about it, that, that dude. I'm like a huge fan of the scream. Really? Dude, yeah, yeah. And you haven't seen like okay, so I'm showing these guys um, in the time that you're like viewing this. I'm showing them. They've seen two. Or, yeah, one, one, one and two. two. One yeah, and two. Yeah. And you see three, four, and the new one. We're watching three so tonight. We're we probably gonna watch three tonight. We yeah. should watch three. We should watch three. I'm Honestly, down for three and four. Fuck I was it. gonna say we should do three and four because four is just fucking. Yeah, that's your favorite. But if we but if we watch three and four, then we only have five left. So I mean, so you want to like lag it out a little bit? No, no. So I'm saying we watch three, four, and five tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking psycho, man. I love it. Okay, we're, we're gonna do You're it. Psych- we're Dude, you say no balls right now. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. God. I'm gonna do it. I hope we all know we're probably not gonna get girlfriends for a long time. Dude, yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> it comes with the industry, man. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with it. There's that part in No Way Home where it's like, ah, uh, no, I don't think that's in the cards for guys like us. And I was like. Yeah, <laughs> got that right. Got that right. Like, no. Let's highlight that clip. <laughs> <laughs> Let's highlight this clip. 
Uh, Milad, you got that? You got yeah, that right now? Timestamp, timestamp. Timestamp this bitch. <laughs> I'm going to say it because it's recent. I fucking love Licorice Pizza. Nice. I honestly love that movie so much. I, I don't know what it is. And honestly, the first time I watched it, I didn't, like, realize it. But, like, the more I, like, thought about it, the more I was, like, I love, like, that movie. It's just, like, it's kind of like a... Um, PTA movies are kind of like that, though. Mm-hmm. They're like, dude, you don't know what, like, you're in for. Yeah. And, like, love, like, Romans aside, honestly, the age thing, like, I kind of forget about. Yeah. I know it's, like, kind of apparent because of, like, how old he is. But, yeah. like, the way he's shot, it's just, like, insane. If you, like, look at each yeah. shot, like, one of my favorite parts is, like, this most, oh, it's besides, like, the beginning. It's, like, there's this random part where they're handing out flyers. And if you, like, really pay attention to how they're tracking, I don't really get how they did it. Because, like, it's the school, and they're on the side, right? So oh, they sh- hand it out. Um, I was like, a, I oh, like they're in line and they're doing the school photos. That's right? the beginning, but like, there's a part yeah. in the middle where they're handing out flyers for the ending. Um, um, let's say the pinball place. Okay. So they're handing out flyers to advertise I'm that. Trying right? to remember. It's like it's not even like a notable part of the movie, but I was just like, how'd you do that? Yeah. Um, some kids hand it out, but one of the kids runs past the lockers, and literally the shot just follows him perfectly. But if you think about it, they had to like run or dolly track that whole thing. And I was just like, mm. they could have just had it where it's like close up, um, cut, 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 oh, fire, cut. fire, yeah. fire. But they did but one they shot. they went through the trouble of setting up an entire track and making sure it was timed perfectly. Mm. Because literally when the, the track stops, it's like a perfect like stop. And I'm like, mm. it's just like elegant. I don't know. Yeah. Like, when you see shit like that, like I appreciate it so much. Yeah. Um, so for that reason. Where's the behind the scenes for this shit? Come on, man. Dude, I feel Unless like they don't. Yeah. Out there. I think some it, it's out there, but I feel like sometimes they don't show because they don't want to lose the magic of it and like show people their tricks, you know? <sighs> kind of that. Yeah. But there's some I think like that's I, what I it would is. sometimes like for me, the it's kind of like if the movie is like the magic trick, I think how they did the magic trick is sometimes cooler than the magic yeah, trick sometimes. Because you're uh, like, dude, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like, the way you thought of how to do that to make it yeah. an illusion is crazy. Yeah. Like, it looks so cool. I don't know. By the way, licorice pizza. Oh. Um, I'm not going to put everything everywhere on this list. I Kay. I think it's really good, but it's hey, a little, like, the high door. up there for everybody. Hey, there's the door. Dude, honestly, I, it's not as good as Forrest Gump. <laughs> I <laughs> fucking hate you. Sorry, I have to make a reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, what is that, like, four? Uh, that is that is dazed. Back to the Future, Licorice Pizza. Did you put Ferris on there? No, that's three. You only said three on there. I'm gonna put Ghostbusters on there because fucking awesome. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is fire. And honestly, the fact that they're making more now is like insane. They should have like this is like I heard. The, I heard the newest one isn't so bad. The Finn Wolfhard I one. I honestly really liked it. Um, yeah. Paul Rudd. Th- like literally, the I will say, if you're like a fan of the first one. And the second one's like, okay, we don't have to, like, talk about the second one. <laughs> the first one, like, it's really good that if you're kind of, like, nerdy to a degree, this new one is, like, a love letter to you. Like, because of the way that it is. Like, yeah. the ending, they reference so much that I was like, I don't even know how you remember that. There's a part where, um, ah, shit, that's a huge spoiler. You haven't seen it? Yeah, I have not seen it. We'll don't talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. But with one of the characters, it. it pays, like, really close attention to something that's in the background. And I'm like, Interesting. you guys killed it. Mm. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, good movie. Um, damn, it's tough. I'm oh, not gonna say got, Halloween's. We got the candle today. It's okay. No, we don't. It's, it's fucking, fucking hot enough in here. Fuego. How? Are you, it's fucking shorts, my guys. You don't need I that. I guarantee man. you, if I was wearing shorts, I'd still be hot. Weirdo. I'm gonna say Inglorious. Um, Kay. possibly. Beautiful. It's not Reservoir. Do- Honestly, Inglorious is just so well made. It's I so, dude. It's Ing- just like I don't know. Something about Inglorious just makes it like. The opening made me like in fear. I was <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like the what way he's the building again? this tension. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. fucking house and the family. The shot and Dude. then the part it's like just that white shot and yeah. he just walks out. Holy I'm yeah. like, this is a fucking villain. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, and how polite he is. Like yeah. weirdly but polite. You, like, weirdly love him because he's like, that's a bingo. And you're like, yeah. do I love that? I, I like hate oh this guy. Oh my god. Dude, if any if we talk about openings of movie, that's such a great opening. Dude, movie. can we talk about that for a second? Best openings? That's up there, and so it's You can finish your list, bro. We I don't want to talk about man. movies forever. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Then um, we'll talk about openings. Go, rap- right. go rapid fire. The last, last. Oh, Whiplash. Whiplash is on there. Mm. Uh, Whiplash, Whiplash is, is on my all one. time that's as well, just the top 25. You know what? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it. I'll put two Damien Chazelle movies on here. I'll put La La Land on there. Beautiful. I saw La La Land at least five times in theaters. Recently watched that. I think I watched it five times. Yep. For your first time? No, no, right. no, no. no, no. Okay. I just recently watched it again in like the 
Then, oh, it's so like, good. I don't man. understand how people don't like this movie. Yeah, dude. I'm like, you saw this the guy. One. He hasn't seen it. He hasn't seen it. That's what I'm uh, saying. La La Land. Okay, we'll, we'll but there's maybe also watch that. Uh, there's like a danger which uh, makes me respect Damien Chazelle so much for it. But like, he said it too. The beginning is like a song, and it's like literally like, "Hi, I'm a musical." Yeah. That's the whole beginning, yeah. right? So and it's like a bang. And he said that he's like, he, "You know what kind of movie you're getting into?" Yeah. What I think is great is that if you stayed past that, even if you hated musicals, you were like rewarded because you find out that the songs weren't like forced at all. Yeah, this is not a Disney movie. Like the songs are like placed there with like relevance, and it's like great. Have you guys seen The Greatest Showman with Hugh Jackman? Yes. I have not. Same I people who did the songs for... Yes, yeah, not directed, but yeah, yeah, same yeah. songgwriters. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Daniel, uh, that I can't one, remember that name. one, I, I haven't I seen it, and I w- I'll come off the... R- I'll, I'll, I'll be the dickhead, I'll come off the record. That one seemed a little too cheesy for me. But that's okay. why I bring it up. I saw it. I liked it, but it's not like... I on, it's not like on the scale of La La Land. I feel like it was a little over the top, a little too many songs. That's where it's like we get into a little musical. too many mainstream actors that I was like didn't want to well, see. In the okay, movie. I mean Ryan Gosling, uh, no, but Zendaya. Ryan Gosling no, 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 and like Emma Zendaya, Stone, though. like yeah, okay, no, okay. Okay. Say, you okay. know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like Zac Efron, and then I no, get actually, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman, actually, I had no worries about, but like I was like, really, like we're gonna do this, and like Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone just made sense. In my opinion. No, no, I, I'm, a, I'm on your... I just think they're also main for that casting. But I kind of agree because, like... Yeah, it was like Zendaya. But Zac Efron was a really good choice, in my opinion, though. Because we saw him in High School Musical. I don't think he, like, liked being in those. He also didn't sing. He didn't sing in the first... He didn't sing in the first one. Oh. Yeah. The other ones, he yeah. did. He, like, does a pretty good job as, like, okay. being back in that role. And also, like... Yeah, I don't know. He's not a guy that would see, like, hired for musical gigs. And he just seems to, like, get those. So, for yeah. that, I'd yep. respect it. But La La Land is crazy because, like... It's you kind of only follow two people the yeah. entire movie. And you get, like, John Legend randomly. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just kind of He's just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have Ryan Gosling, and you have Emma Stone. And if I went back in time, was like, hey, musical with these two. You'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But that makes no sense. That's true. Especially with Ryan. Great. Yeah, yeah. They're not right. singers. And he makes them singers. And I'm so. like, yeah. dude. And I dancers. Respect that. They and fucking dancer. killed that fucking. Oh, the they did. The the Tough. hill scene, the boom 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 boom. Oh da, 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 that shit, dude! When he does, oh, yeah, that shit, dude. Gives me chills. The ending will never not give me chills. Shout out to Christopher that Scott. Whole final sequence. I think it's Christopher Scott. Shout out to Christopher Scott. He he was a choreographer on that movie. That shit was a banger. Hell yeah! Oh um, my gosh, fucking amazing. No, what was I was gonna say something real quick. No wait, finish list, finish yeah, list. Finish oh, list. Super bad's on there. I okay. should I should say that. Is this number um, eight? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. it has to be up there. Um, if not, it's okay. <laughs> um, oh gosh, we're talking like favorites though. Fuck, I feel like I have to put Casablanca on there. Ooh. Really, Casablanca? Okay. The first time I saw it, well, I was like, nah, "That's old," you know. And then I got older, and then I watched it again, and it like almost brought me to tears because I was like, "This is like mm. beautiful." Because like when you like think about Rick and like all of his yeah. whole like perspective and personality, you're just like. Wow, it's all earned. The entire movie earns the way he is. And, like, they do it in such a great job. And it's old as fuck, too. Like, it's shot in, like, such a way. There's this crazy shot where it's, like, it starts in this one room. And I think Rick goes up up the stairs into his office. And you follow it. And then it goes, like, through the wall into the office. Yeah. And I'm, like, wow. I don't, I cannot name another movie that I saw that in. I literally cannot. And, like, it's just great. So Casablanca, I think, would also be. Do I have a last are one? Are all the cameras overheating? Or is that all of them? All of them are overheating? Yeah, because I think they just need to turn it off. Oh. Okay. Well. Well, yeah, you just hear our voices. Good. It's okay. okay. I'm video. You got my close up? That's all that matters. Yeah, that's all that matters on Brandon's good. close up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's um, it. Um, um, I think that's like. Is this oh, one, one, is one, this one more? One more. Give us one more. Uh, oh, fuck. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. I'm between a Nolan movie and I'm between a Fincher movie. Wait, Which have one? you said nine already? Yeah. That was his ninth one. I think that was my ninth one. I'm low-key... Uh, <sighs> well, what is it in between? What are the two? It's kind of like basic, but Inception's like masterful. That's a good one. Um, and Interstellar. But Inter- Fincher... Oh, Interstellar. Okay, honestly... Really? Okay, Tom love Tom Nolan. Tom? He's definitely up there if I had to like change this list. I'd maybe like swap this around because off the go. But like, um, Fight Club... It's just like... I thought about that. I thought about putting it on mine. Yeah. Wow. Just timeless. It's like... It is timeless. And it's always quoted. 
Yeah, if you like think of like filmmakers as like craftsmen, you could like picture their workstations, right? You could be like, oh, this guy's more of like a fuck it, like I make like banger shit with the shit that I have. Yeah, you got like um, Spielberg. That's like, oh, I'm gonna like think of some crazy stuff. He's got crazy pop props out and stuff. Yeah, but when I like think of like David Fincher, I think of like a surgical set of like tools, and yes. you've got like. Literally every he picks one up and he puts it back in the exact same place because this guy is precise with not just like his story but like the VFX in his movies are hilarious because they're like it's like a nice shot of a like a street right you're like it's a good shot like in Gone Girl right there's a part where like they walk into like their Gone apartment. Girl is on my Gone Girl. was almost uh, on my list. Mine Hunter if it was a movie I would choose Mine Hunter oh fuck hundred percent like, crazy um but there's this shot you're like oh this is like a pretty good you know like shot. And you would, like, probably say it's okay. But if you look at the VFX, he changed, like, the signs in the background. And he would, like, change the buildings, like, to look just, like, slightly different. Yeah. And I'm like, to have that level of, like, attention for a shot where they just walk into a house, a man's a fucking master. Yeah. <laughs> it's just brilliant. So maybe I would say Fight Club. That's mm. the top ten. Those are all of our top tens. Brilliant. Um, David Fincher, though, yeah, for sure was uh, always a top director for me. I think that way, too, with his... Like with his movies, it's very like, like with especially with prisoners. That's all, like, oh my gosh, that's that that shot. That shot right when you find out, like right when she get the daughter. Spoiler, right yeah, when the yeah. daughter. I mean, it's a whole movie. It's not a spoiler. The daughter the gets kidnapped by the, yeah. and that slow pan in on just the tree. Remember yeah. that and the house behind it, and yeah, having yeah, get yeah. like just that, and you're like you know the tension. Like that is be- like. Dude, insane. Beautiful. Like, you feel the tension already. There's no actors in it. It's literally just a pan in on a fucking tree. And it's, yeah. like, beautiful. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's just, like... Yeah. Everything has yeah. an intention. Yeah, it does. It does. And I literally, the way that he ended that story is just, like, incredible. I will say, like, that last shot of, like, Yellen Hall just going, like, faintly hearing something. I have never felt so much hope. I was like, oh, my gosh. Wait, this well, is like which one? amazing. Uh, the, the very end. Uh, like prisoners? you get the reaction shot where he's like, oh, it's probably nothing. And he starts to walk away and then you hear it again and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that's why <laughs> like, I. Oh my gosh. And it fucking ends there. That's how, that's how, that was a big inspiration for my short film for Picture Perfect. Oh, the, wow. Um, that's really crazy. Because like it's, it's like uh, ending where it's really open ended, but you still kind of have an idea what's going to happen. Yeah. It tells yeah. you all you need to know. Yeah, this is exactly. not like I'm gonna walk you out the. Front if you door. haven't seen yeah. my short film, you know, Picture Perfect, this guy's in it. A little plug. This guy, this guy, this right. guy helped on set. I was there for a couple days. You know, um, but that was a big like for any movie I make, I would, I think I'm always gonna keep it that way, uh, open ended, like Prisoners, how like he just walks and you hear the n- he hears the noise. Yeah. And stuff, and it's open ended, but you kind of like it's kind of like up inter- interpretation. Like, did he? Really here, like, did he help out, or was it, like, maybe he but didn't? at the same time, like, I think in a case like that, it kind of implies that he did. I like that sometimes, but sometimes I really don't like it, I will say. No, For when, like the when way they that do it, it well, huh? Yeah, when they do it well, I think it's good, because, like, you kind of have an idea of what it's going to be. But sometimes, yeah. like, like, Inception does it well, where I'm like, okay, yeah, ins- I don't, like, need to know that, but, like, I love that it's open-ended. Yeah, like the that. just the spinning. But it's like, have you seen Annihilation? Yeah, I love Annihilation. Yeah, I, that honestly, was a little too too open. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, <laughs> because, like, what do, because what do I think of that? It was such an open ended. It was such a big reveal. Yeah, it was like a really a- big thing, and then it ends. And, and then it like, ends. have you seen it? Yeah. Kay. Okay, so you you know the alien, yeah, yeah. that fucking shapeshifter bullshit gray guy, like, right. fucking nuts. Yeah. And really then it just ends like she just sees that, and then it just ends. I was like, I kind of want more for that story. <laughs> yeah, I was cool. like, I mean, you could have like walked me a little bit out the door. For like yeah, exactly. Yeah. But when prisoners, does it, that's why I think spoiler alert as well in the works. We're in officially writing oh, yeah. process of our first short film. We we are. I'm just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. We did not do it in Lake Arrowhead because we had too much fun and we did a Garage Sessions episode not and then we were just there for a good time. But now we are in. What? It's kind of cool because I didn't have this idea at Arrowhead. Yeah. So let's so break it. So a lot of things have in have been inspired throughout, throughout. So this time. Let's break it down. We won't give you too much because writing process, but we have the writer and the director of our first short film. And along the way, we are helping Brandon for the screenplay and the writing process throughout. 
And yeah, that is all we all can right. tell you right now. We're not gonna tell you what genre. We're not gonna tell you what kind of story. We're just gonna drop a trailer one day and be like, Yeah, exactly. You heard it here first. Let's clip this as a, another highlight. But we are in the process of writing our short first short film as a production company all together. Woo-hoo. Oh yeah. So Fuck yeah. super excited for that. And that's why we are talking a lot about movies. I think this is good too. And and throughout this writing process, it's really fun. Um, you're writing the script, but we had our first writing, pro- uh, writing uh, kind of story, uh, ma- uh, brainstorming, and like it's dope to talk about movies like this right now to find inspirations like that. Like, do mm. we want an ending like like that, like where it's kind of like open ended yeah. or like ambiguous. or like ambiguous or like movies that inspire our movie? Because um, I mean, do you want to say what movie kind of inspired this? Nah. Nah? nah, nah okay, nah. okay. I think, zero, I think zero a lot information. of people that, like, know me think I'm going to, like, aim for something like the movie that I did make. Uh-huh. And it's going to be nothing like that. Nothing. And it's I nothing that, like, like that. I'll tell you, yeah, if you know Brandon's films or if you go watch Brandon's films right now, which you should. I um, think anything that any of us did six years ago is probably not the best representation of the things that we're going to be yeah. doing now. Facts. Facts, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. it's good. Like, like uh, I recommended for you to watch a movie. I'll just, I won't say the movie, but I recommended you to watch a movie. And yes, yes. You know, yeah, like, you and talking about movies, like how we talk about movies, it's really great to have a, even a platform like this where we can talk open, open-minded open like this. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just be, just stay tuned for a fucking short film that's dropping. How what's what's our time looking like? Fucking we. Oh, okay. Let's keep talking. Let's, do let's keep talking. Fuck oh yeah. Um, Some question. I had a question. What's the question? Brandon. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> <laughs> you your goal is director eventually. Yes, sir. So, what is one studio that you would like to work with, or sl- and slash or partner um, partner with? Because we have. I was gonna say an actor. The Ooh. reason I say that is because... we're to make our own studio, my The guy. reason I say that is because, like, for Nope, uh, Jordan Peele said that in one of the more recent interviews, he was, like, uh, one day on set, like, I was just hanging out down in Kaluuya, and he, he was, like, I told him that, like, you're my Robert De Niro. Like, I'm, I'm going to use you forever. Oh, that's so he sick. He was, like, you're the hear. De Niro to my Scorsese, is what he told oh. Daniel oh. Kaluuya. Yeah. That's so sick. That's why wow. I asked that question. That's, like... Can you imagine hearing that? From yeah. Like, I mean, as an I'm actor, sad. that's like yeah. a, a dream as an actor. Yeah. That's like, yeah. Because then you know you're you're kind of s- you're kind of booked and blessed whatever this person does. Yeah. I would tear up if Jordan Peele said that to my face. I'd be like, oh, that's Hey, cool. you better be careful with your answer because you know you have two actors sitting right next to you. No, 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 no. Already, <laughs> already, already. Already, we, we better. Already got you. Already, yeah. we better fucking be your Robert. Oh, we got, we got your rules already. I mean. Hey, okay, we'll hint yeah, that. Yeah, I like okay. the conversations. Okay, we'll yeah. hint that me yeah, and Mo yeah. maybe in this short film. They might, they might. Maybe. I'll think about it. We'll see about it. We'll yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to see if they're like the schedules line up. We, yeah, yeah, we yeah, have to yeah, see yeah, the schedule. Yeah. We still have to audition for this guy. So. Rep- representation's crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> we got to wait that one out. <laughs> but that's a good question. Yeah, like. That's a good question, Who yeah. would be your dream Robert De Niro of your Scorsese? Um, or a studio. Gonna, or studio. I, I have like kind of an answer for both, maybe. Yeah. Um, for studio... I think I have something for Netflix. I think I might have mentioned this. Okay. I have something for them that would change the way, like, Netflix did shit. Yeah. And, like, for that, bro, call me any fucking time because nice. I will happily do that. All right, what um, time is it at? Highlight that clip as yeah, well. Yeah, highlight that. Netflix. Um, the other one is, like, it's really interesting because, like, I, I really wanted to, like, do Marvel stuff. Um, but hearing, like, more about, like, the studios controlling, like, these – creators and stuff yeah. to where like they can't really create kind of like hurts a little bit so for that reason i'm gonna say like i think some of the movies especially that i want to make right now kind of like the one i'm talking to you about would like be up the alley for a24 oh and yeah. I like without a doubt I think that would be like that's my answer so fire because i have like stuff that i'm like this could be like crazy and like hopefully oh they'd doubt. be like okay like, yeah. cool. that's what we're looking for that's like a studio you would want to partner with, but Garage yeah. Sessions is going to make it. Oh, absolutely. I think, oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're but some of the ideas, I want them to be, like, fresh slate. I think that'd be fire. No, yeah, but, like, that's, guys. I mean, that's kind of our goal is to, like, pi- like make it our own and then hopefully pitch it. All right, Dylan. Yeah. Your goal is acting for film industry, correct? Yes, sir. All right. A director or a studio? Well, wait, I've come to terms. I've come to terms with it. People know me as a dancer and stuff and a filmmaker as well, but I've. 
Acting. Acting. All right, so give so me a director and a studio. Director for sure would... Um, I don't know, because some of these fuckers are kind of old, so. Great. <laughs> Experience. Um, oh, it's well, Ari Aster is twisted. I don't know if I can, I don't, I don't know if I have the balls to be in an Ari Aster film. I want to see what, like, the set of I would love to like. be, yeah. But dream, no. but yeah. dream. I'm going to get cursed if I go to that shit. No, I love you, Ari Aster. No, bro, I'm just kidding. But dream to work as an actor would be... Quentin Tarantino, just because yeah, I know too. he's very precise and very straightforward on how he wants his actors to be in a film. Yeah. So, like, having that critique and having a director like that, I feel like would put me out of my comfort zone for sure and then probably would make me better as an actor. Yeah. Uh, to be on set with and just see how they work and process would be... Like other actors? Just as a director, like oh, how oh, he would process yeah, yeah. as a director, for sure. I don't want to hype him up too much, but for sure Jordan Peele, because he's really changed. The You really rarely hear his debut movie dropping like how it dropped, and then his like just yeah. his first three movies dropping how they are dropping and making making this type of noise. And they're originals. And they're originals. Like you don't. Those are hard to come by. These you days. don't really. You don't really <laughs> yes, <they> hear. <laughs> I know he had a following already as like a comedy person, but like him going out of the comedy realm and doing his this this different genre, yeah. him not being known and him dropping how he's been dropping. You don't really hear that. He doesn't way. play off of his comedic success exactly. in these movies. So like, yeah. I want to see how that br- like he processes him and De- uh, Denny Villeneuve. Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, yeah, I should put one of his movies on there. Yeah, so I did a, I, I did a, I was in uh, my senior year, senior or junior year. I was, I, I was in a English. Uh, it was an elective for English. It was like a film, film class, uh, film, uh, something like film theory or some shit for English, and uh, we had to do a project on our fa- on a on a director, and mine was D- uh, Denny Villeneuve. I I know a lot of nice. behind the scenes shit because I had to do research on him. So that's another guy that's like surgical with this shit. Yeah, for real. He just like does shit that I'm like, I don't know how you did that. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> seriously, it doesn't make any sense or like how he like came up with the idea. Like I feel like that just seeing him process. Yeah. And how he works, I feel like that. Would 2049 is the most. How the fuck did you even like think of that? Ridiculous is movie ever. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So those studio. So a studio, uh, obviously A twenty four. I feel like that's all of our answers. A twenty four. Um, yeah. I feel like there's no other studio really that's like have blown me out the wa- like blown. So it's like we kind of talked about neon. I think. I don't yeah, know what up yeah. To. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think there's a studio necessarily that's kind of like blowing me, hmm. blowing me away. Isn't that kind of nuts? Honestly, Plan B. Mm. Oh, can you name a couple? Uh, that's Brad Pitt's company. What are they like made though? Is it like? Is it like Brad Pitt movies? Basically, like we bought a zoo and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, let me see, let me that's see. a good movie. I like that movie a lot. I I don't really know that much about Plan B movies. What? While I'm looking for this, oh, Moneyball. Okay, yeah, that was a good. Oh, movie. Departed. That's on my top ten movie. Okay, hmm, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Selma. Never I really want to see The Last Man in San Francisco. Oh, yeah, yeah I heard yeah, yeah. that shit was amazing. So good. Um, watch that. Damn! Damn! Kick so. ass. What is Plan B? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know that one. Actually, looking at Letterboxd. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Film. Pr- yeah. Film production company owned by Brad Pitt. He's been responsible for helping some great films get made. Amazing. Uh, this Never is just someone's that. personal ranking of it. But the d- Moneyball, Moonlight, Minari is Plan B. The King, which was um. Oh. Timothy. Timothy Chalamet. Mr. Chalamet. Of course, World War Z. The yeah. Big Short. Was uh, plan B. Oh, that movie. Oh, you Jesus. love this. You lo- well, <laughs> I spilled water everywhere. <laughs> Damn, you got really excited about the Big Short. I did. That's, no, a, that's such worth it. a good that's movie. That's so worth it. I haven't seen yeah. it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Vice. Hey. Vice. Vice is. Vice I spilled is plan so much water. Vice is Plan B as well. I haven't like finished it, so I'm not gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing because I haven't finished Vice? it. But mm-hmm. the winning time. Is Adam McKay's oh, HBO yeah, Max yeah, show? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't finished it either, but it's, it's the first three episodes were. Kind of incredible. Yeah. The way it's made, I'm just like, 
Yes. Yeah. Like, fucking yes. Like, he just, like, has fun with it. And I think that's, like, the coolest thing Wow, ever. Minari was plan B. I don't need to see Minari. That's Minari's also Minari. on my list. I'd pick him. All right, what, so we already know your answer for Studio A24. You obsessed with Director. Uh, Loki is also probably Quentin, but I'll give another answer since we already did that. Uh, Same reasoning for me? As in, like, he's, like, very precise on his actors and stuff? Like, how he... I do, I mean, I, there, I've definitely heard of instances in which, like, he was yelling at actors. Yeah. But, like... But I think that's good intent, though. As oh, yeah, like he's not, he's not, like, trying to be mean, but, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Um, I think, I like the hard push, like, uh, even with teachers and, choreo- like, choreographers when I was, like, taking class, I like those teachers, like, were truthful and not the ones, like, oh, good job, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you next time. Yeah. So I'll give a different. I'll say either, either Martin Scorsese, or David Lynch. Mm. David who? David Lynch. Oh my god. David, David Lynch. Lynch. He's gonna have you doing some shit, man. <laughs> Those are my two answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. David Lynch. I thought you were gonna say David Fincher. I was going to. It was too many. But David Lynch is solid too. Yeah, uh, yes. David Lynch is solid too. If you could be yeah. in any movie that was already made. Ooh, good question. <laughs> what would you want to be in, and what would you want to make? And I'll give my answer what I want to be in. What movie would I want to be in that has already been made? That's a good question. That's a tough one. That's, That's a really a good question. Because it's like, I want to hold a lightsaber. But, <laughs> but also, but also like, like... change the game of cinema? But also, like, I want to be in a Quentin Tarantino movie. So it's like... I'm trying to think. That's yeah. a tough one. I'm trying to think. Like, think about it. Like, it's your first movie, first job. Like, how do you want it to kickstart? And first direct. Oh, it's my first acting gig ever, and I can choose As any in, movie. okay, like, first, like, okay, maybe you did, like, NCIS. And, like, okay, it's your okay, first, okay. like, big thing. Like, it's your big break. Okay. Like, how would you want your career to kickstart? That's a really tough one. I will, g- <sighs> like, a, you need a, a movie title? A movie that's already made. I still don't have mine either. I'm still trying to think. I have one. I'm, I'm oh. thinking of it too logistically. Like, like how old am I? <laughs> like, does it matter how old the characters are? You're like your age. You're like fucking nineteen. You're young. Okay, so I have to be a young character. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The legend. <laughs> what is she? <laughs> um. That's too fucking hard, man. One movie. I'm trying to think as like age range, like. No, no, See, for me, I want to be like I'd rather be in an artsy film and stuff. So I think the answer is still a twenty four. Yeah. Yeah. But what movie? What if we like lowered the stakes a little bit and said that this wasn't the movie that you'd get big for? What's a movie that you would just wish you were like in? Can we do that? For mine, okay. for mine, for mine, I kind of like the artsy shit. I'm gonna be one of those like. F- Fucking people, Thanks. but and ac- if I did the same performance as these main actors, like I'd probably want to be in it. Is is beautiful boy as Timothy Chalamet? Oh, that's a good one. I've seen that one. Or mid nineties as as uh, what's his the skater kid? Oh, the main kid. Yeah. Um, Stevie. Stevie. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. he's Stevie in the Sunburn. movie. Sunburn. <laughs> Sunburn. Yeah. Sunny. His real name is Sunny. Um. Just as an artsy film, and that, like, I kind of, like, want to be in that room. I kind of don't want to be. Right now, if Interstellar. I Boom, there it is. Interstellar. Okay. Who would you want to be? Also, Timothy Chalamet, which is funny. McConaughey's character? Timothy Chalamet, he ain't in that movie. Oh, he is in that movie. Oh, fuck. I what was that? What was that? Doing? What was that? Holy oh. shit, he's the son. I forgot. That was yeah. a, I, f- <laughs> I <fucking laughs> forgot. I haven't seen her selling forever. I fucking Good forgot. Man. Yeah. See, I don't know. Like, if I get any job right now, I'm super grateful. But if I had a choice, I would love to just if do the movie RT. gods were like, hey, man. Yeah, cho- yeah, yeah. Choose yeah, one. Yeah. Give yeah. me any. Right now, yeah. I'm up <laughs> for gods. anything. Yeah. Give me fucking any mainstream. Give me any mainstream movie. Would I want to be in the lighthouse? Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's what I said, right? You would be in the lighthouse. Wait, wait. The movie, the lighthouse. <laughs> you didn't say that. You said. Did I not say the movie, the lighthouse? After you just said the lighthouse, I didn't say <laughs> yeah, the he movie did. lighthouse. Yeah, the movie oh yeah, okay. Yeah, why? Like as Robert Pattinson's character. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'd be Robert Pattinson in that movie. So much shit happening on that set. 
Oh, I yeah, know. dude. Mark Pattinson masturbated that. on set. Is this okay? No, you no, can't no, 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 no. They said it. No, no, they said it. They said it. They said it. He was also no. His penis was in his hand. And he's masturbating. No, there and, was a scene. And hi- there is a scene. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I haven't. Okay. I haven't there is a scene it. where he masturbates. Yeah, I've known that. I don't, I don't care about spoilers for this yeah. movie. He fucks a mermaid. Uh, him and Willem Dafoe are actually plastered for a lot of shooting. Factual. This is. This, they said it. I mean, I guess they could be lying, but <laughs> but like this. No, but like yeah. They're, and it's like apparent. Yeah. 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 Damn. I just I would not like. I don't know if I'd have fun on like a set. I like don't. That. I don't think I could. I think that'd be it's too tough. Lot. I mean, like if you were like, hey, PA, I'd be like, come on, no, I'll, I'll be there. I think I feel like but it would. Like, just, it would take me out of it too much. I would I, like I my ass off. I cannot envision myself like staying in character and and being able to do that in front of like fifty people. Can you imagine the the, the poor girl that's AD is like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this, bro? Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure, I'm sure they cleared sh- the set. Yeah, I'm, I was gonna say. I'm sure, I'm sure, it sure was just there's there's precautions. Yeah. I'm sure and it everything. was just the director and the cinematographer and like maybe one or two other people. But but still, holy shit! <laughs> As a if you had a ch- this is what I'm saying. Like if you had a choice, obviously we don't have choice. Like we don't have the privilege or any choice to do this. But like, I don't think personally. I don't know if I should say this, but fuck it. Um, I can cut it out. <laughs> If no, yeah, I mean, fuck <laughs> it. Um, like, as in, like, comparison to like Timothy Chalamet and like Tom Holland. Like, I'd rather choose the movies that Timothy has done. Cause okay, but what have you seen else that Tom Holland has done? Like you j- don't, don't you just think of him and you think Spider Man? Yeah, but that I do. I don't know if I want to be known just as Spider Man. Like Timothy. Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Mainstream is like. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. Like, would you want to be the career path as Tom Holland or Timothy Chalamet? Honestly, I'd rather have the career path as Timothy because, like, a lot of, like, what what did he just come out with that wasn't so great? It was a video game. Timothy? What? Not Timothy. Um, um, Tom Holland. He came out with a video game? No, that the came a movie. Fucking, what's Cherry? it? No, it was. It's a video. It's a video game. Oh, Uncharted. 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 Oh, like, oh, 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 he's oh, oh, like oh. he's. And then and then what's the <laughs> Chaos Walking? You know, like mainstream you movies. Try to bury that movie, man. Like, would as an actor, wouldn't you want to? Oh, I see what you mean. You know, wouldn't I you want to make a career path like Timothy did? Like, I think that. Was I, think doing, t- I think if Tom Holland is done with Spider Man soon, he's still young enough to have a career like Timothy Chalamet. He's only he's only twenty something. I know that. But okay. Yeah. And but I'm not saying I'm not saying. Hey, I'm up. For like, give me any job. Fuck it. Get, I'm not. But yeah. if no, I dude, put me in Marvel. No, <laughs> seriously, no. Put me for anything. <laughs> Literally, I'm down for anything. But like inspiring. I, okay, we can say this as an inspiring actor. Yeah. I'd rather choose the career path that Tom Hall, uh, Timothy Chalamet has. No, honestly, like, yeah. You know what I mean? If I was an actor, I would, I would agree. And as a director, it's also like that. Like, director, like, Tarantino, like, he's only doing ten movies and, like, calling it. Or, like, anything that, as so far, Jordan Peele has done has been top-notch. Like, don't you... And then you have, you know, you have the Michael Bay's where, like, some movies are very questionable. Jake, man, why'd you do it? You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Jake... Are you talking shit on ambulance? I haven't seen it yet. Don't talk shit on ambulance. Really? Yeah, don't talk shit on it. Don't talk yes. shit on it. No, 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 no. There's he, a he, reason no, Jake Hall no, 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 no. didn't fuck up? No, it's like, honestly, like, I, it's cheese. There's, like, funny parts for, like, the dialogue is, like, whatever. But, like, for the stunts that they do in that movie, yeah, you I said, had such a great time watching it. It's okay. Ambulance is yeah. very entertaining. Okay. And, dude, honestly, right. he kills it. The whole right. cast, like, kills oh, it. Oh, I'm sure his performance was going to be great. Regardless, this is also <laughs> like the most angry he's ever been. But I, I think, would say. but I think as <laughs> artists, we always, we always crave to have that, that discography of like top notch shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And even with, even with this podcast, you know, we always try to bring the top notch like guests and like cool people, and like not lower the standards. You know, so it's like, that's why sometimes I feel bad for like the Tom Holland because I know he's talented, but then he has like Uncharted and then he has Chaos Walking. Like I'm assuming, 
this is just me talking out of my ass. Maybe he just did it for the money, you know? Because, like, you're going to read that script and no, really, I, I and really tell me, be like, yo. This I don't think he was doing it for the money. I don't think anyone's paying him as much as Marvel's paying him. the same? Okay. I think he's yeah, doing it because really he's in Marvel. I think he's. I think he is getting to the point where he's like, I don't want to be Spider-Man forever. I would like to be in other movies. And so he's doing... Also, Cherry is like Russo Brothers. Like, these are also just people yeah, who I'm already count with. that as like yeah, a separate... Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> no way. It's part of the Marvel universe. Yeah, the Apple TV <laughs> original. No, I'm okay. I think he's just like... I, I'm. He's taking all the projects that aren't Marvel. Mm, I see that. And I'm not bagging on Tom... I, like I said, I know he's an incredible actor. Yeah. But the choices he makes to what movies he does is different compared to Timothy Chalamet. Dude, Lady Bird, uh, Interstellar. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I completely what I'm agree. You know what I, I mean? what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. But I think that's because of Marvel. I think if I Timothy Chalamet started with Marvel, his lineup would be different as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not, yeah. hey, put me up for any job. I'm not saying I only want this and I'm only talented because it is. But that's, I feel like as art, like I said, I bring this up because we always reach to, we always reach for that everything we do is better than the next and better than the next, you know? But it's not always like that. Yeah. But if you had a choice, as I'm saying, like if anyone had a choice, I'm sh- I'm sure ev- anyone would take that 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 career path, and everything is like top notch. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? As a director, what 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 was the question? Uh, what movie? What oh yeah, what movie would you make as your like Kickstarter? Like like Jordan Peele, like Get Out, you know? Hmm. You know, I want my like discography to be like, what the fuck? But like. Like, even though the genres are so different from each other, you still, like, know it's me. Yeah. Like, that's mm. what I really want for my my thing. So I think I'd be, like, very down. I don't know, like, what my starter would be or if I'd go back in time. One, I, I can definitely say, though, is I wish I did the new Scream. I yeah. really <laughs> wish I did the new Scream because I would have been like, dude, Yours. like, I'm going to bless you fans so fucking yeah. right now. I'm going to fucking, like, wow. You should low-key just write the bitch and pitch it. Dude, I want to do, like, six. I'm so down, bro. You should like, honestly do it. Like, why not? Dude, I'll just write that opening scene. So my opening scene for it, I won't, like, go into detail. Don't go into like, detail because someone might take it, exactly. you know? That's what I'm saying. You know? But, like, I would want that opening scene to have the magnitude that the first movie had. Because that is one of the best opening of all, like, of all time. The ones that follow it are, like, good. Kay, especially the theater scene. I need a like recap of the first the first one. Uh, we just Drew saw it, man. No, but I d- have been. Remember, <laughs> remember <laughs> Drew We Barrymore? were in a cabin, too, and I was trying to, like. That's true. Stay awake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that blonde girl? She answers the phone. Uh, oh. The popcorn's on the stove. Oh, yeah. yeah what? Okay. The right. tension of the conversation. What's her name? Stuff, like, it was Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore, yeah. Yeah, it was Drew Barrymore. And yeah. I would also do some what shit like say, that. I will say that. What's your favorite horror movie? What is it? What's your favorite scary movie? Scary What's your movie. favorite scary movie? <laughs> so you do a scream. It's either a sp- <laughs> But what's a, a movie? Okay. But um, what movie that's already made? That's a movie you would make right now. As in like. No, Scream 5 has already been made. Yeah, Scream Five's already been. Oh, you want to remake Scream? F- I thought yeah, you meant Scream Six. Like I thought you meant like, oh, like do a Scream I'll Six. I'll do a Scream Six. I'll do a Scream Seven. <laughs> yeah. I'll do both. Not, um, <laughs> but if I could go back in time, I would take over for okay. Scream Five. Okay, you take I over. Change that okay, story. but then I'm t- okay. You take over that franchise and all that. Yeah, it could be as your Kickstarter. But what's your Kickstarter as like original? As in like what's your directorial debut? And that's already made, like a movie that you're like, ooh, this would be. Oh gosh, damn it! Because it could be like. A I feel like you. I feel like. I'll say what you. Th- I think you would do licorice pizza. Ooh, you like yeah. t- a movie that you wouldn't change. I'm saying like you wouldn't change anything about. Oh, but it. I wouldn't change it. I would just take it over. That's what I'm like for me when my when oh. I an- when I answered it like I would have the same performance as Timothy Chalamet did in Beautiful Boy. So it's almost like you went back in the timeline, just replaced the person, Repa- but the movie was the same. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. What do you you think like you how you would perform it? Yeah, yeah like, like, like I'm the acting. Timeline by oh, being okay. in yeah. No, you are acting. But you're doing but the I same performance as Timothy yeah. Chalamet. So like if you just CGI'd me onto yeah, Timothy Chalamet. Basically, okay, exactly. basically. Yeah, yeah. That's how I looked at it. Sorry. Yeah. No, 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 really no, no, no. All good, all good, all good, all good. No, interesting. My answer remains the same. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> why, that's why I chose Beautiful Boy yeah. or Mid 90s. I definitely wish I made fucking Mid 90s. As your debut? Like, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was like that or it doesn't matter what time period, right? No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool time machine. I like that. Uh, cool time machine. <laughs> I like that. Shit, I wish I made Back to the Future. I'll say that right now. Nice. Because nice. I would have nice. done, I would have, like, changed it, though, maybe, like, later on. Mm. I would have had, like, maybe, like, would have changed a couple things, like, mm. after that. But the fucking okay. first one, if I had that on my belt, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I want to make anything. Okay, cool. Straight up. I think that those are sick-ass answers. Yeah. 
I think I think I think our audience now, whoever's watching, because there's no guests, but hopefully you're watching, will understand our personalities now. Yeah, no guests, Dylan. Guess? We have a guest right here. I know okay. we fucking see him every day. I love. They you. don't. It's not true. I know it's you guys true. don't. You guys had the pleasure of seeing this man right in front of your face now. All right, these cameras are getting too hot. Are they getting too hot? We're chilling. All three are on. But All three um, are on? that's good. Let me go wrap it. I think we can wrap it, man. We can wrap no, it. Let's start a debate. Let's start it right here. Right <laughs> here. All right, what debate? Go. Think oh, yeah? <laughs> no. <laughs> the Batman is the best movie of all time. The Batman? No, the new one? Yeah, you were like... I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean you're kind of not wrong. <laughs> it's not like... the. It's like kind of... Yeah, you're kind of <laughs> not wrong. Wait, what did he say? The Batman is the best, best movie ba- ever made? No, the best Batman ever. Did you here, say l- here, I got you the perfect list. Ready? It goes, the Batman, and Dark. then right under that, everything everywhere... Oh, and above the Batman, Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. Venom 2. But then above that is Morbius. Morbius. Time. I feel like Morbius is so good. It's kind of like mainstream, you know? It's kind of like. Yeah. Dude, like I feel like I've watched that movie, but I didn't watch that movie. Somebody Morbius? like. Uh, yeah, condensed not, I the haven't whole seen it, but I. I haven't seen it either. Somebody condensed the whole movie into a second on YouTube. Uh, I'm not even kidding. It's just literally squished <laughs> into a second. So it's like frames at that point. Isn't there a YouTube? And I was like, ch- I saw the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't there a YouTube channel like that, like 30 seconds of a movie? And I like definitely believe it. You know I what I mean? If there hasn't been, let's make it. 30 second movies? Yeah, 30 second movies. There, you saw this movie. You know. <laughs> Has it been made already? Has it been made already? 30 second movies? Fact checker? We'll look it Jamie, up. Jamie, can you pull that up for us? <laughs> oh, there oh. goes our light. Dude, oh, there oh, oh. things going on. All right, well, our studio wants us to not. Yeah, our, our studio. Like, I can't hear about movies for a second longer. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Literally, this whole episode is about movies. No, no, leave, no, no, no. Leave it on, leave it on for a second. That's that's what you get. <laughs> we hope we hope you enjoyed this video. You probably can't see shit right now. But um, uh, if you're, you know what I noticed real quick. E- usually on YouTube, you know, YouTube or even on podcasts, you, they'd be like, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, blah, blah, blah. We've never done that that's in true. any episode. We always just, it's just. That's why we don't have subscribe. We're not telling yeah, you Yeah, that's subscribe. what I'm saying. Bro. Honestly, guys, we guys, just hit guys. 100 subs. We're a couple over now, but. Yeah. I know it's 100 subs don't sound much, but for us just kickstarting this and like not yeah. really us not having a following and just doing it just to do it, it's amazing. Thank you guys for the support. Yeah, it's thank awesome. you guys. It's crazy that we were talking about this in like November and like now we're here. Yeah. Yeah. We're just talking about, hey, I, w- I want to make a podcast. We call yeah, it. yeah. Literally now we're yeah, here. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. But yeah, again, so now let's start it, start it off with make sure you subscribe, like. Uh, give us a mm-hmm. comment about your favorite movie or whatever movie you want to talk about. We'll probably comment as well. And uh, if you're listening, thanks for listening on Spotify and everything. Thanks but go for to YouTube. But go YouTube, watch our beautiful you faces. You can see Brandon's beautiful face yeah. for thanks an hour and a half. Brandon, for this time coming on. And uh, yeah, we'll see who we have next. Wait, wait, wait. Can they follow me? Can they follow me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your tags, bro? <laughs> What's your tags? Please follow me. Please follow me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's Brandon Layman Films, one word. Last name is L A Y M A N. Go Sweet. follow me. I also will not share my letterbox. I will say that, but yeah. I do have. You, got, an you gotta, Instagram you, you, gotta you gotta dig deep to find that shit. If you find mine, you find his. I will respect you so much if you ever find my letterbox. Yeah, and if you don't have, if letter- you find it, you deserve to follow it. That's yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you find it, it is all you and, want. It, and if you don't have letterbox, go get that bitch. Cause that and yeah. it's again, not sponsored, but fucking letterbox sponsor us. Oh my gosh, please. God damn, you better. Clip I'll, I'll settle for a twenty four. You better highlight this clip so we can post this yeah. and send it to letterbox. Yeah. Highlight yeah, we'll this clip. Have to. I'll highlight this clip. This clip has been highlighted. Highlighted so a twenty four and goddamn <laughs> letterbox sponsors us because we always talk about you guys. Um, thanks. Again, for watching. This was a fun episode for us. Hope you yes. guys enjoyed it. We talked a lot of shit and random stuff. And we're about to go watch Scream 3. So, yes. see you guys next week. Adios. Just do the damn thing. Bye-bye.